Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the WR Podcast. I'm Joey. I'm Tommy. I'm Pop. And, uh, guys, we are on episode 40 of the We've WR Podcast. 40 episodes of the WR Podcast. 40 episodes. Uh, now I will say this, you know, that's not a, it's not like a full, uh, we, we've been doing this since of, of late 2022. Uh, you know, there were times that we'd take off. Unfortunately, this is not a weekly podcast. It's more like a almost bi-weekly podcast, but we still try to get it out to you as much as we possibly can. Um, in other words, <laughs> in other words, any fucking time we want to. Well, uh, last week was pretty rough. Um, yeah. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, it was uh, it was in the uh, every day, guys. Uh, every day in brutal Kentucky. Yes. Uh, we had brutal weather every day. We were in the fucking mid nineties. Yes. Every fucking day even at night even at night it did drop down a tad but still hot as fuck um it would drop down even at night and uh we would be in like would be like at least low low eight uh sorry uh but like mid 80s it only went down like like 10 degrees at night it was still hot as fuck though Tommy, you were taking some walks because you're trying to, you yeah. know, you know, you're on your, <clears throat> your health binge. Uh, how was that? Brutal. Brutal. I do that shit for thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Well, it's too fucking hot. It is. It's really hot. Uh, now I will say this. Oh, uh, it, it's calmed down a little bit. It's in the mid eighties now. Uh, I did. I did an extra ten minutes. Believe it or not, guys. About 10 degrees makes a fucking difference. Yes, it does. Uh, Pops, what do you think? No, I think so. And, the, and another thing is, uh, our refrigerator went out. Yep, uh, our refrigerator. Uh, we can't, we, we, we're still without one. They're supposed to deliver it. It was supposed to have been delivered today, but they sent a message saying, well, we can't deliver it until Monday. So we're drinking fucking hot ass motherfucking soda. It really. <laughs> Pisses my fucking ass off. The old man loves a cold drink, guys. The old man loves a cold drink. Yeah, our fucking refrigerator went out in the fucking heat wave. I will say this: our uh, our old refrigerator is about at least sixteen years old, guys. It's a very old refrigerator. Um, so yeah, uh, like we've had trouble with it over the last like year or so. Um. And we we were kind of thinking it was gonna go out at any time, and it finally did. And yeah, you know, along along with the bad, a lot of good things happened this week. Uh, well, well, we're gonna talk about it in a yeah, second. Now, let's finish off with the with with the refrigerator issue. There was some stuff that went bad in the refrigerator. We had to throw all that shit out. Um, you know, some meat. It fucking. It, 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 it was a fucking just went. Uh, that that we we went we, we had that right there was 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 the grocery rush that we did and uh, well, uh, thank God that that, that uh, what was in there was all we had because mm. uh, you know it fucking stuck to high heaven yeah motherfucking refrigerator just went totally fucking blank so uh, we're still with our old refrigerator right now uh, Home Depot is going to haul it off when they bring the new fucking one. And of course, like that Pop, is. like Pop said, we we're supposed to get it Friday. We got a fucking email saying uh, and and a call said that that they rescheduled for Monday. Uh, well, hopefully, it, hopefully, it, hopefully it comes in. Damn, yeah. motherfuckers still re- keep on rescheduling. Tell, tell the motherfucker get the fucking money back, and we'll and we'll go get a cheap motherfucker somewhere. I mean, uh, I mean, I will say this. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, we like we didn't go cheap cheap on the refrigerator, but. You know, we're still in the boat for almost a thousand dollars for a new for for a new refrigerator. Uh, so, oh, we get this shit soon because I want I want something cold to drink, damn it. I'm tired of drinking hot shit. Um, but Pop, uh, we, we, we got a, we, we also got a fucking backlog and a grocery bill here. Now, Pop, she said there was some good that happened. Well, what's 
what's some good that happened beside, but, but, yeah, well, besides well, me? Well, well the, 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 the good that happened is uh, papers come back, deeds and everything that, uh, that this, uh, we own this motherfucker. Uh, this is Casa de Flat and uh, Pops, it's uh, paid off completely. Deeds in the, in the flats' his name, and uh, this house is now uh, officially ours. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so that was good. Yeah, yeah long we, uh, we pay, hell, we, hell, we've been paying the property taxes for years anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so now the fucking property taxes, uh, uh, we're still going to be paying it. Yep. Well. That's well, see, that's the good thing, guys. If you guys own a house, besides, you know, some of the bullshit that happens around, <clears throat> uh, the good thing is you don't have to pay rent anymore. After you get it paid off, the only thing you got to worry about is your property taxes and, and paying your normal bills. Yeah, and 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 keep uh, and, and, and keep and, and, and keeping yeah, up play, uh, 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 keeping uh, keeping up on the damn place, like you know. Uh, Make, make, make sure it's make sure it's all right you know for uh, fucking roofs and shit like that yeah uh, we, you know we gotta we gotta do some some certain jobs on the house but we're gonna get to that soon um but it is in our name and it's gonna uh at least we don't have to worry about anybody trying to take it uh from us it's officially in our name and uh uh pops how do you feel about owning the house finally well, it took a fucking while to do it. No. Uh, no. Fucking payments and shit like that right there. Uh, uh, well, if, if you guys don't know, we had to do rent to own on this house, but yeah. the person uh, that we were bought, buying it from pretty much did like a 180 and tried to screw us over and stuff, and we had to get a lawyer and all this shit, and uh, it was just a pain in the ass. Guys, uh, it, was, it was a pain in the ass. It was a pain in the ass. Uh, we're uh, we're going we're gonna to be taking... Uh, up some money and we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna just uh, just fix up this place really yeah. really nice uh really good so starting starting with the new refrigerator damn it starting with a new refrigerator and bad god uh can't wait it better be a good one <laughs> well hey hey hey, hey <clears throat> you know you know hey i, I paid a thousand dollars for this refrigerator you know and, and then pops over here blaming me hey joey we don't have the refrigerator. Where's the refrigerator? Hey, don't blame me. The Home no, Depot no. fucking reschedule the thing. It ain't my fault. Hey, if they don't come, I'm getting the fucking money back, and we're gonna get a cheap old motherfucker somewhere. Well, you wanna go to Peddler's Mall and pay two hundred dollars? I'll go to fucking Peddler's Mall and grab a motherfucker. No, oh, that'll last a week. <laughs> that'll last a week. Who gives a shit? But uh, we'll have cold soldier for a fucking week. Hey, 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 we ain't we ain't no fucking cold soldier for two weeks. Yeah, we might to have one for a week. Uh, our refrigerator went out last week. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so it's just been a pain in the ass, guys. But uh, at least at least it has cooled down a little bit. It's still, yeah. it's, it's still but, a little yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, still yeah, a little like, hot. like I said, though, you know, there's some, there, there's some bad times hit. But, uh, you, you know, there was also some good times that, that followed along gotta, with that. You got to take the uh, good with the bad, unfortunately, guys. Uh, unfortunately. So, so you know this uh, this place, this house, this property is ours, and that's a pretty damn good nose. My uh, my mom and dad never had a house of their own; they always rented. Uh, my uh, m me and my brothers owned their houses. So, uh, I, I I feel like that 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 uh, I made my parents proud because they never could. That's what so, I do, pops. The way I feel, I I, I, I feel I made them proud, you know, and and my brothers because they own their house. Well. I only got one brother now and a sister because my older brother died of cancer. Everybody knows that one. Yeah. So. Well, 
Uh, good thing is, I uh, own the house, and uh, we're going to start off with a new refrigerator, and uh, we're going to be working on, uh, we're going to try we're, to upkeep this house even yeah, better. Yeah, we're, we're going to work work on the upkeep of the house. Uh, uh, we're going we're to do some painting, and uh, and uh, just, just uh, when we get, that, get everything done with it, we'll take a picture of the damn thing. Well, I'll say this, like the inside, <laughs> besides, you know, you know, we need to clean the house. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, I will say that the house is clean, guys. But yeah, we need to do some real deep cleaning in the house. Yeah. Now, I mean, I, I, I'm, I mean, uh, the outside is the issue. The outside is the yeah. one that needs. Now, to the outside is a bad part about it all. Because but we keep the grass mode. Tommy's fucking window. We keep we keep the grass mode, but but the the we're we're we're, we're going to do some weed eating. I have to I have to go somewhere. I have to go to uh, what's that place called? Uh, uh, that that that, that I, well anyway, I have to go get a saw because a damn blade is caught the one I got. So I have to get another one. Yeah, I, 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 I won't I won't I won't mention no names who who who, who, who causes to stick in there. I'll just look at the party whistle. The guy, yeah. the, the guy there, the guy there that, that that's sitting with a with a faded shirt there. Tommy, no, you. <laughs> yeah, I got a. I got a. I can't get. I get if, if I, I can got get a saw out, blade stuck in stuck in Pops' and saw, and we've been trying to get it out for a little while. We still can't get it out. But uh, it, so hey. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get rid of the damn saw and everything like that. I'm gonna go get me another one. We're gonna do the damn thing because we we got a little trimming to do this. Good coming in right here fall absolutely <clears throat> um i'm cutting down every damn tree i find well that and just uh bad thing is is we got some rain storming coming finally again so great great uh, news yeah, well you see yeah uh uh gonna yeah just uh, we're, we're, we're gonna try to make make this place look good i mean i mean it looks good now but the outside is 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 the main issue. We're gonna make it look good, put siding on it and everything like that right there. We've uh, we've discussed it and everything. So, no, we're that. all gonna put our money together and make this house look good. Not only that, but also uh, you guys see uh, something a little different on the screen, maybe. Yeah. What do you see, Tom? Uh, a new logo. New logo. Hey, pops. Uh, why don't you point to the new logo in the corner? Right there, it is. <laughs> Right there, it's it. You go up here and look right there. Okay? No, point to it on the screen. No, like, uh, like you point to it. Right there. <laughs> Not like this, like, like you know, stick right up there. here. No, right the, other there. One, the other way. 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 Well, anyway, guys, if you look at the corner, we I actually. Right there. If you look, if, if you look up above my picture, you'll see the fucker. Okay. We got a new, we got a new logo, and uh, we're pretty happy for it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's been a long time coming. Um. Also. Yes. Also. Uh, what else, Tommy? We came out with some new merch. Some new merch, and now, we're going to show it. Right here on the podcast. Yes, we are. Um, and um, I will say this: this merch is going to be absolutely cheap for everyone. Yes. So anybody can buy this from us. Okay. Yes. Uh, if you can afford fucking, you know, seven bucks, you can buy all this. Okay. And uh, uh, li li literally most of that is going to go towards uh, shipping. <laughs> uh. Literally, uh, we are selling this for what we got them for. Yeah. So uh, we're not really going to be making any money off of this. So don't be thinking that. And that, that and, and that's for sure, guys. But um, and yeah, we know, can't make no money anyway. <laughs> we can't make no money yeah. anyway. <clears throat> um, but hell, you uh, don't pay us. <laughs> I, 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 hell, we we, we 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 help somebody make merch and. We don't we don't get profits out of it, so fuck it. We 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 just can't get nothing going. Um, we actually got some uh, merch made now. Once again, the, it's nothing. Listen, I know people want t-shirts, guys, but t-shirts are just expensive as hell to make. Yeah. Um, the other issue is is if we go through a 
like 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 Teespring or or through like Spreadshirt or something. Um, I don't mind doing that, but at the end of the day, uh, it's going to be a little bit like literally. And I, I like if, if you guys have ever dealt dealt in merch, unless you're like a big celebrity, okay. <clears throat> Um, which we're not, which we're not. Um, <clears throat> but if you go through one of those sites, it's going to be like 20 $25 a shirt. You're going to pay a little bit of money to have it shipped, so that's like probably another five dollars yeah. roughly. So you're gonna pay almost thirty dollars for these t shirts, guys, yeah. anywhere from 25 to thirty dollars for a t shirt, and <clears throat> the person, uh, that that the, the 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 person that made the shirt uh is going to be making the money uh not the person that actually <laughs> like literally uh it's gonna be like uh like i don't know 15 or 20 of the dollars goes to the shirt company and like three or four dollars come to you yeah that like literally that's it <clears throat> you don't make dog shit off those t-shirts guys um which once again we're not in this for any money because if if we did we'd be broke yeah <laughs> which we are uh no, no. but um if, 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 this, if this right here was the only thing that we did to make money yeah we'd starve we'd starve um but guys we actually had a few things made and uh we're gonna show them to you guys yeah um uh we actually have uh, we actually had some stickers made <clears throat> and a pin made for wrestling rampage guys um and uh we actually got uh some stickers made i'll show you guys the stickers first yes. and then, I'll, then we'll show you the pin uh right off the bat you guys already seen that we have well here uh here pops i won't get you off the screen for a second so i can show them sounds good to me but uh but pops will still be here <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to just me and Tommy here so you guys can see it really good. Hey, Pops, you are still there, right? Yeah, I'm still here. All right. All right, I'm going to cover this up for you guys, and I'm going to bring up the sticker. There's the new logo. That's a sticker. Um, Rest of Rampage uh, since 2014. And we got the microphone on the side. We got the wrestling ring on the side. And we got our three knucklehead faces right there. Yeah, on it. the three stooges. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the three stooges, guys. Remember? Uh, that's what <laughs> some people call us. I actually consider that a fucking endearing a compliment. <laughs> I, I consider it a compliment because they were famous. And this is uh this is a sticker. Hold on there. Let's make sure we get it good. There we go. Right there for you guys. There's one sticker. And then a big shout out to Dom Pedro Damo from the Born Leaders Wrestle That's Podcast. Right. He actually made this one for us. He actually made this logo for us. And this is going to be our header on the Wrestle Rampage YouTube channel. So, um, you know, I really so, appreciate it, Damo. Yeah, uh, Damo came through with this one. Let's go ahead and show you guys this one. Damo made yeah. that one. That is amazing, Damo. That is amazing. So big shout out to him. We actually got stickers made of it. And then we got, of course, the classic. Uh, what most people remember us yeah. as is the Wrestling Rampage sticker. And uh, these aren't any, like, fly-by-night stickers, guys. I actually got some of the best quality stickers you can get. Yeah. Uh, made of these and um, so if you guys want some stickers now listen if you guys just want some stickers we'll actually send these stickers out yeah just let us know and uh, we'll get in contact and uh, uh, get your address and stuff so if you want stickers we'll send you some stickers out guys we'll send you some stickers for nothing okay <laughs> um <clears throat> But if you want the pen, it's going to cost about seven dollars, uh, and it's for this reason only. Um, 
We have a bunch over here. And I will say this, too. They're limited, too, by the way. Yeah. They're very limited. Uh, there's only in existence, I think there's about 119 made, okay? Now, 100 are going to be up for sale, okay? So, because we're going to keep back some, some okay? But <laughs> all of them right here, guys, in this bag. And uh, if you guys want to look at the pin, I'll show you the pin. It's pretty badass. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and cover the cover it up. And it's covered up. We got a good looking pin. We got the wrestling rampage pin, guys. There's uh, there's me. There's pops. There's Tommy. <laughs> <clears throat> now this is the old style, of course, of Wrestling Rampage, and these are metal. So if you guys want a pin, get in touch, uh, uh, get in contact with me, okay? Um, you can also get in contact with Tommy too, but if you want a pin or stickers, try to get in contact with me. Um, you can always get in contact with Tommy too. He'll he'll tell me. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and get pause back on the screen. Um uh the the stickers were not too much to make. And by the way, they're not they're not any cheap stickers, they're actually good quality stickers. Um you can put these stickers uh on anything, your laptop, uh refrigerator, whatever you want to put them on. Um and, the, and we will send them out for free. And by the way, if you buy the pen, <clears throat> you'll get the stickers for free. Yeah. So, as well. So, you'll get the stickers as well. So, you'll get the pen and the stickers. So. You get one of each sticker. Yeah, you'll get one of each sticker. All right. And the pen. I, I, and the I pen. Uh huh. Okay, I, I I got something to say here. You know, you know, you can't even. Yeah, we we can't even get get get, get your three thousand of these motherfuckers. Okay. I'm just being well, honest. Well, that's I, why I'm that, being honest here. I, I really am. Do you want to prove Pops wrong, guys? Do you want to sell out the pins? Uh, uh, you, you know, uh, and, and and by the way, you know, this is free too. You know, if, if you if, if you if you get get buy the pen, you get you you get the the stickers for free. And if you guys just want the stickers, we'll also send those out to you as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, we, he, but but you know I'm gonna go back to this right here you know uh, uh, to get three thousand you know and shit like that right there you know we're giving away some fucking free fucking shit too you know mm -hmm. so and, guys and, if, and, if, if you guys want to support us and get the pin mm -hmm. we would appreciate it for sure um, you know you can put it right there on your on your shirt you can put it on a on a denim vest, on your backpack, whatever you want to put the rest of Rampage pin on uh, is uh, is going to be great. Um, and and will support us. And they're very limited, guys. They're very limited. Uh, there's only going to be 100 that's going to be out for sale. After they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say this: they weren't that much to make. They were about three dollars to make if I bought it a quantity of a hundred. Um, <laughs> just to you guys that we're not making any money on this, <laughs> literally. Um, it was three dollars to make the pin, and it's going to cost about three to four dollars to ship the pin. So uh, that's why I said it's going to be about seven dollars to get the 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 pins uh shipped to you now, ain't um, no motherfucker giving us money here yeah and uh if you want the pin you'll also get the stickers as well so uh but uh awesome uh we appreciate the old logo uh the classic logo uh big shout out to uh damo for the damo. uh yeah uh, for that one and um I actually made this one, so. Yeah. Um, but if you guys want a pin, get in contact with me. Uh, right down below is uh, our Twitter. 
um, at Russell Rampage, or if you want to get in contact with Tommy or me on Instagram, that's down below too. You guys can see it on the screen right now. And also, subscribe here to Wrestling Rampage so we can do the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. We are about... We're almost there. We're, we're almost there. We are almost there. Now you're fucking uh, pissing me off. You're getting something free. What the fuck? Come on. And, and by the way, the people that do enter, they'll get stickers for that as well. Yeah. So, uh, just let you guys know. Um, but guys, support us. Uh, get the pin. Um, once again, it's only going to be through... Um, guys, if you have PayPal, <clears throat> that's the best way to do it. Um, I don't have no Cash App. Don't want Cash App. Don't want all these fly-by-night things. Uh, we're only doing stuff through PayPal right now. <clears throat> and all you got to do is get in contact with me. And if you have a PayPal, send the $7. You'll get it uh, as quickly as we can get it out to yeah. you guys. So, And once again, the pins are limited to 100. So if you want one, you need to get in contact with us. Yes, okay? you do. You need to get in contact with us. The stickers will give out to anybody. Yeah. But the pins are very limited. So with that being said... Um, let's get into some wrestling news. Yeah, let's get into some wrestling news now. We've done the, uh, we've done the spiel for the, uh, for the merchandise, you know, they want a new merch. Hey, listen, hey, listen, if we can give away merch for free, we would. But guys, it actually costs money to ship the stuff and it costs money to make the stuff. If we can get the stuff out for free, we would, but unfortunately we can't. Oh, <laughs> Oh, well, then, we're, we're, giving, we're, we're giving away uh, systems and shit like that right yeah, there. Oh, oh, by the way, like that right there, eh? uh, if, if, if you guys want to enter the 3,000 subscriber, uh, 3, subscriber giveaway as well, we're giving away a GameCube with a controller, memory card, WrestleMania uh, 18, Day of Reckoning, and Day of Reckoning 2. We're giving away a Nintendo 64 with a controller, with a memory card, uh, with uh, WCW uh, NWO uh, World Tour, WCW vs. NWO Revenge, and WrestleMania 2000, WWF WrestleMania 2000. And we're also giving away a PlayStation 2 with controller, with memory card, with SmackDown Shut Your Mouth, uh, Raw versus SmackDown and Raw versus SmackDown 2006. Uh, and I'll leave a link in the description box below of that 3,000 subscriber giveaway. You click on that video and you tell us that you want the PS2, you want the GameCube, or you want the Nintendo 64. You gotta type those in though. Yes, you gotta type in N64, PS2, or GameCube in that you'll be automatically entered as soon as you hit that subscribe button. So make sure you guys do that as well. We're close. We're around 40-ish away. We're almost there. So we're close. Uh, with that being said, I guess we'll get into the rest of the news. Yeah, now I had to get the feel of all that in it. Yes. Let's talk about, uh, we got some CM Punk uh, news, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the insane clown posse? Yep. Shaggy Two Dope and Burger J. <laughs> Burger J. Yeah. Well, Violent J. I'm sorry. But uh, I'll give him props on one thing. Mm -hmm. I like how they respect the old veterans wrestlers and legends and show them uh, show them respect and everything else. Show some respect. But they're horrible fucking wrestlers. Oh, they are. Their promotion sucks. <laughs> they even make fun of it, too. Yeah, they even make fun of it, for God's sake. And I'll be honest, nowadays music by ICP sucks. I'll have to be honest. There's only a few songs by ICP that's any fucking. <clears throat> of course, it's the old shit. Pops don't even like her. Pops don't give a fuck. But I don't give a fuck. The Insane Clown Posse had some shit to say about CM Punk. Okay. They start <coughs> off with Fuck CM Punk for Life. Okay. You wouldn't shake our hands in TNA, little bitch. And you a clown on the 
only real friend you ever had in Colt Cabana. Fuck CM Punk. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can barely read that shit. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it. Um, fuck CM Punk for life. You wouldn't shake our hands in TNA, little bitch. And you clown on the only real friend you ever had in Colt Cabana, you bitch. I shared my bank account with my mom before she passed, you little insensitive bitch. You little heartless alien. Uh... Suck my dick, you little weak bitch. Couldn't beat a jobber in UFC, you fucking nearly pathetic uh, little joke. Come beat me up, bitch. You suffer inside uh, inside everyone. And they mama knows it, too. Uh, get your head right. Uh, get your head right. Your little suffering ass bitch, Violent J of of uh, of insane clown posse, just as legendary as you, little bitch. Face it. Okay. All right. Yeah, I doubt that at all. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> well, listen. Maybe they had this encounter with CM Punk for sure. Yeah. I'm not going to doubt that. No. Um. I'm not going to doubt they probably. Probably uh, had an encounter with CM Punk at TNA. And he didn't want to shake their hands. Well, who would? I mean, listen. I mean, I always try to show respect to people. But here's the thing. But. Uh, but, hey, uh, CM Punk, you know, well, here's the thing. When the fuck has ICP been popular these days? Huh? <laughs> not, not for a while. <laughs> Boss, did you fart? <laughs> Fucking right. I don't shit on my baby. I shit on my baby around here. He nowadays. But let's uh, let's. Were the crack? Were the crackers of peanut butter coming back on you? Looking right. It could have been the ICP. That, that right there is for the insane but, clown, and I do mean fucking clown pussies. Well, like I said, maybe, maybe he had a. Well, I will say had. this: if you try to shake somebody's hand and they won't shake your hand. That is a sign of disrespect, yes, yes, personally. It is. it is. But who said that this really happened? Yeah, who said this really happened? Anyway? This, this is coming from them. This is coming from them, so they could be lying. Who knows? Who knows? But I love how they said that uh, we're just as popular as CM Punk or whatever the fuck. I wouldn't say now. Uh, well, uh, 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 when? When? Where? How? how? I wouldn't say now. You're a legendary? Like, the ICP's legendary? She said... CM Punk is a household name. I'm being honest, he is. He's more popular than what fucking ICP is nowadays. That's true. You don't see them looking uh, going to muddy fields to sign autographs for CM Punk, do you? Yeah, let's let's go over here to the Jiffy Lube and hear a dirt road. We're right here on Air Force Base on Dirt Road Anthem over here, and uh, and here comes the ICP with our fucking horrible fucking Fagos. I'm sorry, Fago sucks. I'll say this right now. Horrible drink. I tried. Uh, but like who like who gives a fuck what you all think, really? You know, y'all look like fucking Dork the Clown, so who gives a fuck what you think? And, and you guys are fucking jokes. Your wrestling promotion is a joke. Your music nowadays is a fucking joke. Yeah. yeah. You're all you're doing is trying to get in the limelight, trying to get publicity. That's all you want. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's all ICP. Once they want a little bit of publicity, get people to keep people. Hey, you know we're still here, don't you? We're, we're uh, still coming. Uh, uh, do you feel near you? And, and, and to be honest, you know, Colt Cabana, he's a joke just like you guys are. So, <clears throat> who, and him having to share his bank account with his mom, who cares? No. Who the fuck cares? I, I don't give a fuck. And by the way, Colt Cabana has been a joke for years, too. Uh, Pops, how do you feel about that? Well, I, I think I, I think they're just sniffing around to, to see if they can uh, make uh, 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 probably get a little a little you know a, a, a little a little bit of more cheese, probably. 
little more cheese on their Whopper. Yeah. Wipe them out. Like I said, I don't think they have an issue as far as, you know, that could have happened, but <clears throat> why do you want to bring it up now? Yeah, why, do you want, why, 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 do, why did you not say this a long time ago? Okay, okay. okay. I want to know. Oh, I know why. It's because CM Punk's name is out there, and you were like, hey, you remember you remember the Dork the Clown people, right? <clears throat> and I remember you being with Giant Saliva. And uh, and fucking Kurgan, go go low. Okay. And, and I remember, I remember you were at the Dark Carnival with Vampiro and Raven, and they were the only two good workers there. To set the record straight, how long has this been? Well, if I had to guess that it was during the TNA years, it was probably an early like. Well, damn, do you, you, you how long that's been? Yeah, you waited that long. You guys waited almost twenty you years. You, waited, you, you you actually well, waited. So you actually waited that this right here long to, 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 to get it, it out. Uh, to me, you're just looking for some cheese to eat. Yeah, okay? yeah you're looking for some Jerry. Honey. You're looking. You're, you're looking to try to, to try to make yourselves uh, get noticed, which probably ain't gonna do no good anyway. All right, we got some more punk news. We might as well go ahead and go through yeah, all the We might as well go through. Uh, yeah, go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Know, through like, all the people punk call news. him, as ICP will call him, a bitch who cry baby Brooks and all this shit. Yeah. But he makes more money than fucking ICP ever would. You don't see that? You don't see him wrestling in dirt. I'm going to take a shower and break Fago. Fago sucks. I'll tell you that right now. What do you think why you see the family dollar? All right. I'm priceless. Yeah, I'm priceless. <laughs> You know, the shitty story. But let's go in some more sample. Jim Ross. And this is from the uh, Grill and JR podcast. Yeah, from JR's podcast with, with Blubber Man Thompson. Fat ass uh, Con Man Thompson. Don't he look like a fucking air balloon? He's the reason why I don't even listen to any of those podcasts, seriously. Anymore. Seriously. He's the reason why I don't listen yeah. to any of them. Is because of him. Jeff Jarrett. I, I would like to listen to people that actually know what they're talking about. Has been in the business like a Jeff Jarrett, a Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone. He's way past it. Uh, he, he Bruce Pritchard's okay. Bruce Pritchard is okay, you know. But uh, I like to listen to those guys. But the reason why I don't is because his fat yeah, blubbering yeah, ass he, on there. He, he, he's got to get his cottage cheese ass in there. Yeah. Well, you want to know why, don't you? You want to know why, don't you? I mean, I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm sure everybody knows he's a, he's Ric Flair's son-in-law. Uh, 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 well, he's uh, no uh, bad uh, Son-in-law. He's Ric Flair's son-in-law. Let's get it straight. No. So, so of course, uh, you know, uh, 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 of course. Andrade uh, is the badass, and then uh, Con, Con, Con is the badass. Yeah, Con, Con, uh, Blubber Man Thompson's the badass. Yeah, I know. You know, he, he, <laughs> you know. He, uh, this is what Jim Ross. Are you going to say something? About? Yeah, the, the 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 only re reason why he is relevant and, and shit like that is is because of Ric Flair. That's it. That's about it. That's simple. It's simple. Uh, well, well, let's talk about Ric Flair's drink selling not seventy five cents at Target. That's what I heard. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't go to Target very often, so I don't I, I don't know if it's there or not. But that's what we. Yeah, I heard the rumor that Ric Flair's uh, energy drinks are seventy five cents. Uh, actually, we seen a we seen a picture of it. Yeah, people people sent a picture of it uh, for thirty five fucking cents. I'm like, but, uh, there you go. So let's talk about Jim Ross's things on CM Punk. He goes, I miss CM Punk. Okay. I thought he contributed greatly to the AEW roster when he was with us to be. Perfectly candid. I wish he still was. How do you not want a talent the level of CM Punk not still with your company? It pers it personality wise just did not work out. <clears throat> the reason why it didn't work out is because of like the lady just said, personality. Yeah. Like Jim Ross just and said. The personalities were the young bucks. Yeah. Yep. And fucking hide over here. Yeah, and fucking Jack Perry being a piece of shit. I ain't putting Kenny in that, bro, because Kenny went up to him like a man. Well, while you while guys are young still bucks, jacking off on television. While, while the young bucks and fucking hide over here are, are destroying that company already. Okay, I want to bring up something real quick. Yeah, go ahead, bring go it ahead. up. Before, before, we, uh, before we get rid of the CM Punk issue here. 
is, do you know how tired I am of these fucking wrestling marks? They have punks. Well, no, it's it's it, it, it's not even about CM Punk. Okay. They think that Okada, uh huh, being seen on television and calling somebody a bitch is fucking great. The greatest thing they've ever seen in their fucking life. Have they ever seen that? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> these these yeah. motherfuckers <clears throat> act like they've never seen wrestling before in their motherfucking no, no, really. lives. Really, you got. Fucking these fucking fanboys, and you know the ones that look. What well, the hell? well, well, uh, well, uh, do you have cereal on? No, no, no. Okay. I'm talking. I'm well, talking. No, about, well, I'm talking about this. Oh, you talking about? Well, yeah. How about ones that eat lots of spaghetti? <laughs> lots of spaghetti. Oh, him too. The spaghetti uh, here. And Tim McDouble's picking up. The, go ahead. Go ahead. You guys go ahead. Nike O shirt. It was like a horrible goddamn. Uh. The spaghetti eater yep. and the cereal eaters of the world, they love that Okada, and I heard them say this, that he comes out there and says bitch on top. They get giddy over this Japanese this? nothing having in fuck. Well, you know down. what they're doing, don't you? you get, saying bitch on top. You know what they're, they're doing, doing, don't you? The business is nowadays. They're, they're, is this they're, how they're, fucking sad wrestling yeah, is now? That, that, that is sad. You get don't, giddy don't, over somebody saying bitch on television. Don't the, 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 they fucking know that 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 that, that, that everybody has you know? Uh, oh, I forgot. They don't like promos. Well, guess what? Him coming out here and saying that. You ignorant fuck. That's a promo, okay? But you don't Wait, like that. Come on, come on. Man. Not a good one, but it's a promo. Not a good come one, on. but it's still a damn fucking promo. On, I saw, I saw the thing on backstage. Him fucking him to go. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. Yeets, beats. Fuck you, okay? If I want to hear that, I have Yoshi Tatsu say it. Or... Do you know how bad Okada looks on AEW television horrible. now? That's why where, like, where, he was in where, Japan, he, where he was in New Japan, he was, he was in a New star. Japan and who was a big star and was making tons of money probably. Tons of yen. Yeah, tons of yen yenis and Guinness. <laughs> but he was doing all well and good in Japan. He comes here, signs to AEW, and looks like a fucking blonde putz. He looks like a. He, looks he like went a, from the rainmaker to the Nikolai Volkov maker. <laughs> Literally, he is this nothing happening suit wearing fuck that says bitch on television. Is this how sad? That doesn't impress me. That anymore. don't impress me. I'm sorry. That's like hearing Will Ospreay saying broth every fucking week. Broth, broth, broth. <laughs> It's bro, bro, bro. What the fuck? Wait, 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 minute, guys. You got, you got these guys. You got these guys whizzing all over themselves just because the guy comes out and says, hey, "Come on, like, like, is this how fucking sad they get giddy over? They got giddy over this. Is this that's, how fucking bad the AEW is? People get giddy by the word bitch and Oriental accent. I'm sorry, it's true." Or you know, accent. No disrespect. I'm just being honest. Guys, is this don't you understand? <clears throat> You're talking about about people there that, that they won't that they won't hear, hear, hear somebody else say. And it's you know, being from Japan and everything, you know, and he, he, you know, coming out and saying bitch for. And, and then, and then you also got got, got one motherfucker, you know. That's begging for a girl to sit on his face. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's another thing. I, I, I'm coming out set because I absolutely don't give a fuck. Okay. And then, and then, how pathetic can you fucking can be to really beg right. for a girl to sit on your face? How fucking pathetic can you actually be? Because he's never seen pussy. You, you've never had pussy in your life, have you? Well, no, no. Well, that's why he's jabber jaw. And that's why you're coming up short. All right, motherfucker. But well, let me say this. I think it was what was last week's AEW Dynamite. Yeah. Was 502, right? Yeah. And it, the lowest in the history of Dynamite. Here comes the excuses. Well, the Big Bang one. Is this how bad the Big Bang you need? And by the way, the Big Bang Theory sucks. Mm -hmm. I'll say it. It fucking sucks. It's a horrible fucking sitcom. 
I don't give a fuck if people like it or not. The only reason you like it is because of the blonde bimbo. I'm, I'm just being honest. <clears throat> That's out of their league. That's out of their league. I'm just being honest. Yeah. And, and fucking, and, and, the re, and then y'all got, well, they had, before Dynamite, they had, what was it? Uh, what movie by Marvel? Uh, Black Panther. Black Panther, a high grossing movie. Here's the thing. And, and, and the of thing. course, the people say, well, the Big Bang wasn't on. We lost people. I'm going to be totally what? honest here. Well, you Go ahead, Tom. You, you want to know why? Because uh, they do quarterly hours, right? Yes. Every single week, they drop down to that 500,000 mark yes. after the first 15 minutes because people are changing the fucking channel. Yes. And, and, and people said, well, they won this week. Well, of course they did. The Big Bang was on. The big bang was on. Yeah. Uh, and guess what? Totally that, fucking on it. The first 15 minutes, guess what? Quarterly went back to the same old, same old. 600 or whatever the fuck it was. Here's what you, you got to do. Years, you always do. And people say, like, well, see, they beat NXT. Well, you guys are facing a third WWE <clears throat> developmental. And you can't even fucking beat them sometimes. And you think you could compete with a fucking Raw or SmackDown? Let me know when you take on Raw or SmackDown. Let's see them numbers. Go ahead, Pops. I'm going to say this right here. You know, to, to, to be, uh, you know, I, I've never actually seen anybody go on a YouTube channel and beg for some girl to sit on her face. I've never seen that before. I, I, I'm not a technically and kind kind of a guy, so... You know, I never was born. I, I, I was I was born without without the internet being involved in my life. You know, I, I just you know, because there, there was no internet back then when I when I was a, a teenager growing up. But I I, I, I never heard anybody beg to a, a girl to sit on their face. Uh, just to let you know, you see, I, and I'm going to be fucking honest with you people. I had, right, pussy, I, 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 I had pussy when I was 13 years old. And let me tell you right here today, I am 64 years old and I still get pussy. Um, let's go into some more news here. Start, I let you know right, that, man. Uh, let's stop here. We got to get this over with. Calm down, Pops. Calm, calm down. down. We got other shit we got to do. All right. Let's talk about more wrestling news here. Oh, boy. We got low budget Matt Hardy. Okay. Remember at first when now he was this, working in AEW? Yeah, yeah. This is this is from <laughs> this is from uh, February of two thousand twenty-three when he was with AEW. When he was with AEW, so about a year and almost a half ago. Yeah. He said that this is Matt Hardy. This is Matt Fat Belly Hardy said. And I quote. And I quote: Tony Khan is the best boss. I've ever worked for, right? And then, and then on Busted Open Radio in the past couple of weeks, which is about a year and a half ago, from his comments of saying that Tony Khan's his best boss ever, to, uh, uh, Matt Hardy is saying now on Busted Open Radio, I feel like AEW is more focused on having five star match. As opposed to having a segment that is hugely, in, excuse me, hugely impactful, and makes a moment. So, so net, what changed? What changed? Uh, was it you had a job and now you don't have a job, yeah. Matt? Is that the problem? What took you and so long was to it, say this? Was it Tony Khan paying you money and now he's not paying you money anymore? And you and you want to say how you really feel? And say how you really feel because you don't have. The cojones, the balls, because both, I'm sorry, both of the Hardys are bitches. Washed, washed. Old bitches. Oh, no, to me, all right, I'll say this about the Hardys. They're one of the greatest tag teams of this era, a modern era, right? You know, the Attitude Era, basically. I'd say modern era. All right, modern era. And... Do I consider the Hardy Boys Hall of Fame tag team worthy? Absolutely. 
But do you want to see? Do you, you want to see? You, these? Do, yeah, yeah, do you want to see the Hardys in 2024? Yes. Do you? No. They're Did, washed. Neither do I. Come on. When, when they were in <clears> AEW, <throat> their run was not that great. Well, they, I, well, they, I remember is fucking Jeff, Jeff hurting himself and Matt cracking his skull open. Yeah. Yeah. They were both fucking hurting themselves in that fucking company. Imagine that. Yeah, yep. Where everybody else hurts their sales. Ain't that right, there. Edge? You yep. fucking moron. Edge. Get the old Adam here. <clears throat> Let's talk well, about hold on, Pops. Do you want to see the Hardys in 2024? Uh, I'm going to say this right here, nice guys. Go to the fucking Hall of Fame because you are you you, you are worthy of that right there. Yeah. But stay out of the fucking wrestling. End yeah. it right here. I go to the Hall of Fame, get your rings, and go on. I ain't gonna lie, I do see them in the Hall of Fame. I do. Well, uh, well, well, we do know that uh, that they it, are in TNA right now. They are they 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 are they are in TNA, and TNA does have a relationship with WWE right so now. They could be in the WWE Hall of Fame. When... They could show up on WWE yep. television, which I mean, I will say this: they will get a pop. Oh yeah, they will. Yeah. They the Hardys, the Hardys will. The Hardys that, always get a reaction. I think, I, I, but do I, I want to see them wrestle? No, I don't want to see them wrestle. Go, go there, be in the Hall of and Fame. And cut promo or something. I don't yeah. have no problem with that. But I really don't want to see well, the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame rings, rings and, and get out of the wrestling business. And then plus, we all we always know that they have to be together because separately they ain't shit. They ain't, with shit they, ain't, they ain't with shit separated. So let's talk about some Shane McMahon rumors. Oh, boy. All right. What's well, Shane on that? Well, Tony Collins stuff, stuff, huh? Shane O'Mac? Yeah. Dang. Tony, Con- Tony Collins said some stuff about Shane McMahon. He said, I never met him and talked to him in my life. Right? And then, that's what he, uh, Tony Khan said. Yeah. And then also, Tony Khan said this. Oh, boy. I've heard the rumors he might be interested. I've never met Shane, but we have a lot of mutual friends. I have a lot of respect for him. As an executive and a professional wrestler, Shane is always welcome in AEW. Of course he is. Of course he is. Of course he is. Of course he is. You'll take him. You'll notice take anybody. Notice, notice that every person he says. Remember, we did this on fucking Nikki Bella. Yeah. When she said, you know, good stuff about Tony Khan. Tony Khan goes, I would love to have the Bella Twins come to oh, AEW. Of course he would. 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 Uh, well, because, of course he would because because you know he has to get his star somewhere because he don't know how to make one. And, and, and see and see and and Shane, I like Shane. He, he is smart to the business, but see if he does go to AEW, let's say he does an executive role, or and I don't want him in the ring. Goodness no, because no. he is a little bit older. And yeah, I we see why he did a WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wasn't that stealth, but. Hell, fucking, fucking Snoop Dogg had yeah. to cover for him. Yeah, that shows you how bad that yeah, was. Snoop goes, let me make the save, brother. <laughs> Chin and cheese. Take me, take me, <laughs> and let me lay back. <laughs> but, but then, you know, like, if he goes there as an executive role, he knows about the wrestling business. And he could probably tell people, but here's who the fuck's going to listen to him. We already got multiple people there. And they don't listen to nobody. And nobody listens to anybody. But you got a guy like Arn Anderson that was there. Mark Henry, Paul White, fucking Tony Jer- Yeah, Tony Blanchard. Fucking Chris Hero, Christopher Daniels. You got all these people. Dave Malenko. You got all these people that actually know how to do, know, got knowledge. That, and that can is- help you. But no, these guys, oh, I know it all, boy. I know it all. Whip behind the ears pricks. That's what you are. And that's why I would never, if I was a professional wrestler and I was an old timer and Jake Roberts even too, same thing. These guys that done this and knew how to draw money and know how to do it. But these wet behind the ears, fucking baby soft motherfuckers don't want to listen because they want to get their pussy powder. That would not work. I'm going to tell you right straight up, it would not work. But see, but they think they know everything. So... I'm going to tell you why. I wouldn't show up there and give my knowledge. Fuck you. If if Shane O'Mac went there, 
He'd be stepping on Tony Khan's toes because because he does know how to run a wrestling business. Well, he'd be stepping on his toes, and and, and 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 Tony Khan wouldn't like that, so he'd have to get rid of him. He'd be stepping on his toes it, because well, he, yeah, he, he wouldn't know how to deal. He wouldn't know how to deal with a guy that knows how to how to make money. I actually don't think Shane knows that much, to be honest with you. Me personally, I don't think he would be a good executive. <clears throat> um. If you put free reign on him, that is. Yeah, if if you if you put free reign, then there's a problem. Um, but then again, because I remember that Raw Underground. There you go, Raw Underground. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that there's he, a lot of stuff from Shane that was not that good. Um, but I just don't think he'll go and do it. No, no, there's no way. Like, there's a reason why he only ever that he only ever comes back to WWE every once in a while, anyway. Yeah. Because he's got other stuff to do. Uh, he's doing his own thing. Yeah, I, he's doing his own thing. I mean, you think, I mean, you think Shane wants to take? He's he's spending time with his kids and his wife. And do you think he really wants to take that time? And he's doing. It's not that. No, 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 not only that. But you know, when he used to take orders from his dad. Yeah. Do you really think he wants to take orders from this fucking Mark? Yeah, I don't think he would. Because Shane McMahon would tell him where to stick it. He'd be like, "Listen here." Listen here, Carrot. She were a sticker, bro. Listen here, Napoleon Dynamite. Okay? I know more about the wrestling business than you do. <clears throat> but, but of course, you know, he, no one will listen to him. But let's talk about some news that happened this week. Yeah. Sika of the Wild Samoans passed away. Oh, man. Yeah. Um... Uh, 1945 to 2024. I am going to quickly <laughs> look that up as far as uh, what age gap that is. But, um, was it uh, 1945 to 2024? That is 79. 79. He was 79 years old, and uh, and of course this is the uh, the father of Roman Reigns. Yes, yeah. And that's probably another reason why he probably did take time off, because I, I heard that Sika was not in good health around that time. Anyway. Anyway, and maybe Roman wanted to take some time off to <clears throat> be with his dad, and, which I can understand. Which uh, uh, you know, some people may know, but. Uh... You know, Roman Reigns' brother was Rosie. Yes. And 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 Rosie died about four or five years ago. Yes. And uh, uh, you know, so he's already lost his brother, and now he's now he's lost his dad. Yeah. So, so Roman's going through a lot. The whole Hawaii family's going through a lot. Um, I'm gonna say this: the Wild Samoans was a dangerous tag team back in the day. Oh yeah. And see. These guys are tough guys. They'll fight you. That's the thing about the Samoans. They'll fight your ass. Ask Haku. He bit a guy's nose on. What does that tell you? Mm -hmm. You know, these guys, you don't want to fuck with a Samoan. I'll tell you that right now. You think you think these AEW dweebs will handle guys like this? Even the ones down. You think fucking they want to fuck with a Solo or a fucking Tamatanga or, or a fucking... Jacob fought too. You think they want to fuck with these guys? No. Which will lead us into this. Uh, I just want to go ahead and talk about this real quick. Go ahead. Uh, uh, and by the way, this is actually from a question from uh, T and Q Ponder, since we're probably talking about some yeah. Samoan stuff right now. We'll yeah. go ahead and get into it. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into uh, it. T and Q Ponder asked about our thoughts about uh, Jacob fought two debuting. I'll tell you uh, right now. I like it. Because I enjoyed him when I seen him in MLW. Yeah. He was probably the only thing that was good in MLW, in my opinion. Him and Hammerstone wasn't that bad either. Yeah. Those were two of the best ones I've seen that was decent. But the one that shined most was Jacob Fatu. Uh, he actually, like, compared to, like, the Tongas. Yeah. He, you know, he's, he's, he's a big guy. Yeah. And very strong. Uh, and he has that heel look. You and, can tell he looks like a fucking monster. Or yeah. or acts like a fucking... 
He's got the look. Which we have this right here. This is yeah. from uh, this is from Triple H on the Pat McAfee show. He said, uh, "You see those guys, the bloodline, and uh, starting to uh, run wild, and then the game changer happens with Jake Fat Two coming in, the Samoan Werewolf. Dude, he's a game changer. That's a, is that a turn to Tony Khan there? Game changer? Should be. Should be. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest. Well, he's getting the channel changers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest." A lot of people are shitting on the new bloodline. Me, I like it. I have one issue, me personally. But then again, I don't watch. I don't watch a lot of a lot of wrestling these days. Me personally, I don't. Um, but um, I think I know where you're getting. Yeah. At. Why does every new person have to be a Samoan? Bloodline. They don't. They don't have any other wrestlers come in that the. the <clears throat> And it's always a fucking Samoan. I don't give a damn. I'm tired. It's either that or, well, we'll get into, well, you guys want to get into it now? I don't give a shit. Sure. The Wyatt Six. Yeah, let's go ahead and the Wyatt Six. Go ahead. Why the fuck? I'm sorry. I know that Bray's passed away. And. I like him as a talent. Great talent, but. Great on the mic as well. A good wrestler, good talker, and a good talker. But I'm just gonna be honest. His last run in WWE was the shits to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, having that pitch black Mountain Dew match with fucking I uh, felt sorry for the both of them in that match with uh, with LA, LA Knight. Knight horrible. And I felt sorry awful. for both of those guys in that match. And some of the stuff he done beforehand. And I'm sorry, guys. I know some people are loving this shit, but I fucking hate it. I do not like it. I didn't like it when Bray was doing the whole fucking shit anyway. When, when it was him and the puppets themselves. I didn't even like that. Shit. You didn't like it when it was Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and and, uh, and Bray. I like I like the first Wyatt family. When, when it, it was just Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Bray Wyatt. I had no problem with that I like when he first came in. Yes. It was especially the few with Cena. Actually, I like I like <laughs> all the way until he changed into yes. the fiend. Yeah. The fiend I thought sucked balls. Me me. This is me. I didn't like it. I, I like the I, I like I like the, the when he first come in. I like uh you know the, 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 when they when they turn that shit around and, and the fiend and all that bullshit, I'm like, what the fuck? I don't like Howdy Doody or whatever his fucking name yeah. is, Uncle, Uncle Howdy or whatever. Uh, I don't like I don't like the buzzard. I don't like the fucking rabbit, rabbit, the fat ass pig, uh, Sister Abigail. I don't like none of the shit. I'm sorry, I don't. To me, th- I'm gonna be honest. That's- I know, I know. Some people are creaming in there. And by the way, people are like, oh, you guys are so negative on AEW all the time. I'm telling, this is WWE right now. This is this yeah, is I'm this is a- this is as they say, top dog. Yeah, uh, I don't like this shit. I don't. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the Wyatt Six. A lot of people were shitting on us. <coughs> they all went to a fucking Whataburger and they put. Well, K Fabe's out the door. So K Fabe's dead, guys. Yeah. Fuck yeah. it. Uh, who, who cares? You know, Just because they all took a picture of the fucking Whataburger. Yeah, people. Did you see that? Yeah. People were all up, up in arms for that. Who the fuck cares? K Fabe's dead. You know. There's no. So- there's no real in wrestling. Yeah, there ain't no such thing as fucking. You know, like, come on. There's nothing real in wrestling. Yeah, yeah. K Fade's been out of the barn for a long time. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Wyatt Six. I have nothing against Bo Allen. <laughs> I've nothing against Bo. He even admitted on that interview, he said, when he interviewed with Uncle Howdy. You That's know, him, though. Yeah, you know, of course it yeah. is. Yeah. He was doing the two part thing, like almost like Bray did. Yeah. So he's just copying Bray, and uh, he goes. Does that like bring down like less cre- cre- creativi- uh, uh, creativity? Yeah, creativity. And, and here's the thing. That you're just doing the same yeah. shit that your brother did, and and using your brother's shit. Now once I, again, once again, that's fine. <laughs> but I don't really. I don't. I, said, I, I I didn't even like it when the actual guy himself was doing. Yes. It. And also, and now and and now you're doing a second rate. And also, 
like he even admitted, uh, you know, I, I'll never be as good as Bray Wyatt, which he admitted. You know, who is the Wyatt Six anyway? It's, you it's, got Bo is Uncle Howdy. You got Bo Joe Dallas. Casey from NXT. Okay. Nikki Cross, uh, Dexter Loomis, Eric Rowan, and who's the other guy? I forgot who the other guy was. Okay. But I know there's a sixth one. I can't remember who the hell the other one was. But I'll look it up while you're talking. Yeah, but uh, I have none against them using um, NXT guys, but do they have to be in the Wyatt Six? Yeah. They're saying uh, Alexa Bliss, but yeah. I'm not. I'm not no, sure. I'm not that's sure on that. I'm but, not sure that's true. But but if it is, it is. But here's well, I'm the, sorry. That's also what turned her career into yeah, shit, personally yeah. to me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like here's the thing, like. Uh, Joe Gacy, I like Joe Gacy. Okay, so yeah. yeah. There's only five members right now, but yeah. uh, they're saying that uh, Alexa Bliss might be a part of that as but well. But yeah. That's yeah the, and, and, and another thing to me is, is you know, they, they, they talk about k and all that right there. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what, what ruined that. What we're doing right now, that the internet ruined, ruined that right there. For well, cause, cause, because somebody took a snapshot of all of them eating at a water Who burger. Cares? Yeah. Uh, now they were out of character and everything. They were but just being them. Yeah. But like yeah, people were like, you know, why would they do this? Who what? cares? What? They can't go to a restaurant and, and eat. And eat. Yeah. Like, what uh, the uh, fuck? Uh, uh, has been gone ever since the internet come out. People. Um, they don't do it no more. Some of the guys they did pick be a part of this Wyatt Six. I can understand. I can you understand. Know, I, I can understand like a Dexter Loomis. You know, he was doing that creepy <laughs> shit. When he showed up, I can understand that. Joe Gacy's that creepy type character. He was that in NXT. He's the fat pig. Yeah. <laughs> of course he had to be. Yeah, of course. Nikki Cross, great talent. I can understand she's in that category. You know, I she, can understand. She fits. I can understand who I understand picked. the people they chose. I could absolutely understand. But it's just Yeah. I, I just don't like it. When it comes to WWE, this is in my life, once again. People are like, oh, you guys always shoot on AEW. You guys always shoot yeah. on AEW. You guys There's always shoot on AEW. I don't like. Why does cool. everybody in WWE have to be a fucking Samoan? Or you have to fucking be a goddamn fucking buzzard? Or a fucking pig? Or a fucking zombie? Or a fucking goddamn fucking Uncle Howdy looking son of a bitch? Why the fuck? And I know people are fucking creaming in their jeans the on this shit. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I think it sucks. It does suck. Like I, I thought it sucked when I saw it. I was watching Raw and I saw it. At first, I was like, because I watched that match with Jay, Finn, and uh, Ray, and it went off. I was like, okay, there's there's still a couple more minutes on Raw. What the hell are they gonna do here? And then the lights went out and all this. I was like, don't tell me these people are starting. And then here they come. They beat up fucking Chad Gable, some other yeah. workers, and I'm like. So this is what, and everyone's all happy. We're here. Blue blows the fucking lantern. I was like, well, this sucks. Because it's just not my type, you know. It, I don't like, if I had to choose between which one is more shittier, the Bloodline or the Wyatt Six, I have to go with the Wyatt Six to be more shitty. I mean, I will say this. I did I did watch the, the clip of Bo Dallas and Uncle Howdy do, yeah. having that back and forth yeah. exchange. Listen, was it creatively done? Yes. Yes. Did it did it suit the purpose? Yes. Yes, but I'm sorry, but I don't. I it's well, just it's not my it's it's not my cup of tea. Me, it's not me. Me personally, I, I, I the, the bloodline to me has ran its course in my opinion because because I, I, now I, I it, 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 it's beginning to get fucking dull and stupid, and 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 the and the, and the white six. Uh, bring dead people. It shouldn't have been done. I just, uh, that's, I, that's, I, not, that, I that's just, just not my personal thing. Well, you know? I just want to sit there and, and like say to, that we people say we're WWE people. We're WWE marks. We just said the shit that we don't like. But let's we're talk. WWE marks and we hate cereal. Yeah, right. Tony Khan's got some more words. You want to hear what the great TK had to say? You to read? Oh. Yeah, you go ahead and read this. There's a lot. There's a lot there. Yeah, you go ahead and read that. 
me, 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 me. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Give us the champ power. That's right. Because we are three uh, stooges, you know. We are three stooges, uh, for sure. Um, Foss could be Larry because he's got the bald spot. <laughs> Yeah, I'll show you uh, your head. How's that? Okay. Top, top is Larry. You're curly because most of the time you're bald. That's right. And I guess I'll be Mo because sometimes I want well, the hair. You run the channel, so you should be Mo. <laughs> I do run the channel. I should be Mo. Anyway, <laughs> with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and go to uh, Tony Khan. This is from Bleacher Report. Uh, a lot of the top baby faces, a lot of the top fan favorites isn't that the same thing yeah yeah, yeah that was, you don't know what the fuck and it's been it's been great oh yeah the same great which we had the dinner bell great the dinner bell is up there but i'm too lazy to get it. yeah we we didn't have time everything's uh, great to him ain't it it's been great having such a deep roster deep in the gonads roster and so many awesome stars what stars are you seeing tony well, he's drunk. He can't see. Anyway, we still have so many super popular stars. What stars? What stars, Tony? Tell me this. Anyway. You don't have no stars. You All have the- washed up people that, that, that that's old now. And, and, and by, that, by, that, by, that, by that right there, well, you know, they're not stars now. They, they, they were in WWE. And you got them, and they're nothing right now, oh, and you can't no, make no. a star. On on this roster, who has stepped up? I think that's why I'm so proud of the wrestlers at AEW. I believe a uh, oh Tony, you're trying to get that tagline over and got not getting over. And Tony, I'm going to say it right. TK, it's not getting over. It's not getting over. His favorite tagline, AEW. Is where the best wrestle. How about you just go ahead and flat out say it, Tony? A-E-W. Why don't you come out with a T-shirt that says AEW, yeah. where the best wrestle. Why don't you just come out and say AEW, where the big boys play. Um, when we have a great wrestler like Dax and Cash of FTR, Darby, Eddie, uh, Adam Co- uh, or Adam Copeland. All of these top stars are irreplaceable, and we will miss these guys, but the show has been able to continue because we have so many great women and men stepping up. Okay, Darby, he's a dumbass that got his got himself fucking hit by a bus. Uh, Eddie Kingston's just a fat fucking bastard who, th- who thinks he's a badass, but he's not. Um, you booked FTR into a Bolivian. You booked FTR to lose to almost everybody and anybody. Yep. So they're worthless. They're not. They're not bad wrestlers. They're worthless though. Because of your pops, booking. pops. These people, like literally, you could be the best wrestler in the world, but if you're booked horrible, if you're booked horrible, that's the way you're going to be perceived. Yep. You're- and that's. And that's the yeah, way F- yeah. uh, FTR is 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 perceived as. Right well, well, you see that, that then that, then you know uh, in in a pit in a situation like that right there, I call him a jobber. And then of course Adam Copeland fucking who who, who who should know better? You're fucking a veteran, Adam. You know you're fucking almost fifty, but you want to take a dive off the cage. You see what you get? You see what you get? You fucking buzz cut fuck. You see what you get? I have no sympathy for you. None. I, I, I don't. He, the stupid ass should have known. I'm actually going right now to AEW shop. And do you have AEW I want to see. Shirt? I want to see yeah. if they have an AEW t-shirt that says we're the best wrestle. Uh, I see they got a Forbidden Door t-shirt. That's wonderful. Yo. Now, Tony... You took our name. You make a shirt. What we say, what you always say, and we tell you to make a shirt of it, and you do. We want our fucking money, motherfucker. Oh, I see. I, I see. I see you're doing the paint job thing. Yeah. Like the WWE did that nobody bought. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. 
Yo shit oh, way over shut, shut up, bitches. Oh, imagine that. Fucking, uh, fucking oh, shitty Okada. Sick, How original. Oh, good lord. You know what? Uh, hold on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can't bring this shit on camera here. What the fuck you gonna do, Tony? Bitch about it? Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can do this here. Okay, at the layout. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's see if you guys can see what we're going to see here. Hmm. Damn it. I don't think I can do it. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway. All right, guys. Sorry. We tried something for you. We were gonna try something, but it's not. It's it's not wanting to. Hold on here. Share screen. Share screen. Let's see if they can see it. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got it. Share. Pops, do you see it on screen right now? Yeah. Okay, there's the Shut Up Bitches t shirt. Yeah, for $30. That's a waste of 30 bucks. 30 fucking dollars. Jesus Christ. See, that's why we don't do t shirts, guys. Anymore. Uh, oh, Pops, do you see that one right there? Oh yeah. For the sicko. For the sick I put for the sickos. Yeah, yeah, for the sickos. Oh goddamn. Shayna Wayne has a t Nick Nick fucking Wayne's mom has a fucking t-shirt. Are you fucking serious? Then we got the learning tree of Chris Jericho. Oh yeah, that, that's getting over. No, the only one that looks good in it in, 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 is, 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 is swerves. Chin, tits, and shoe. Okay, yeah, that's great. I do like the Prince Nana fucking uh, bobblehead. bobblehead but there. I ain't paying fifty bucks for it. Fifty dollars. And if you're if you're buying shit from fucking uh, hey, w, your money's getting wasted. Yeah, your fucking money's getting wasted. I want to see if there's a fucking AEW fucking big shoddy. Lee Johnson, who the fuck is that? Okay, we got a Pride T-shirt. Okay, bruv, thirty dollars for that fucking flag. For a flag, guys. Thirty dollars for a fucking flag. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I'm not seeing one. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't make a shirt out of that. Well, I, I, I just want to say, say right now, if, if he does... These are still more outrageous. We no. gave you the idea. We want our money. Tommy, do you want a Jay White switchblade fucking double sided no, jacket? No. It's a hundred and thirty five fucking dollars. What kind of shit is this? Oh, those AEW training cards. You can go to Walmart and get it cheaper than that. Oh, the training cards. Yeah. Brian Cage. Who the fuck wants that shirt? Tommy, you want the scapegoat T-shirt, don't you? Fuck no. Who's buying these shirts? They're fucking ugly looking. Some of these shirts should be on clearance. Okay, let's see. 
uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, okay. They are seeing what we're saying. Sweet. Okay. okay. I was wanting to make sure oh, here. Man. Uh, let's go. You know what? Let's go to Clarence. Fuck it. Let's see what you got in Clarence. Hey dad, you want a bre- you want a you want a best friends t shirt that's still thirty fucking dollars? How the yeah. fuck is the shit in clearance still thirty fucking dollars? Yeah. This is I, 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 I mean I got friends, but uh, I ain't paying that much. Okay, a bunch of best friends fucking merch. And What's some that? and some orange cashney t shirts. So, crying out loud. So these are clearance. You call this clearance? Did I click on the right one? I want to double check here. I did click on the right one. Yeah, so this is clearance. Yeah, it's clearance. Oh. Yeah, $30. Best friend. $30 fucking dollars is fucking gun. Are you fucking shitting me? Top seller. Oh, Jesus. This has to be MJF. Okay, those shitty micro ballers. I got a whole box full of yeah. them over there. I'm about to sell and get rid of them bitches. They got a they got a vent t shirt grab bag. Okay, that ain't too bad if you really want to. So I I will promote this one here real quick. Uh but you never know what you're gonna get though, apparently. Yeah, the, the grab bag. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a grab bag. So <laughs> literally literally they'll they'll give you any shirt for ten bucks. I will say that that's not a bad notion. That'd probably be the best way to get one. But the issue is, what is shirt you gonna get? yeah, what fucking shirt are you gonna get? You want a bruv jersey, Tommy? No. Oh it's boy. Selling. It's sold <laughs> out, baby. That's wonderful. What a sweet ass forbidden door T-shirt. No, I'll pass. Thirty-five dollars. See your DVDs is still thirty bucks. Tommy, right there. Yeah, you want answer. it? Fuck no. Who cares? Shut up, bitches. Who cares? Don't even look like a Japanese Ric Flair trying to be. It's like a nothing happened. <laughs> Same thing like to me. Low budget. Hey, if you, hey, if you want the AEW T-shirt, guys, it's only down to fucking uh, ten dollars these days. Yeah. If you want it. I can't get over that. And I sell it, too. Yeah. Nick Wayne's fucking mama has a t-shirt, Pops. Look at that shit. Really? Oh, my God. $30. $30. $30? Shit. Ain't worth two cents. Well, we should buy this one for Pops. For the sickos. No, you ain't either. You want it? You want it for the sickos? No, 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 no. Uh, uh. No, you see, uh, unlike uh, unlike the the fans of AEW, I, I I actually get pussy, and uh, you know I'm no sicko. Well, you can get the original AEW T-shirt for ten dollars. They're trying to they're trying to fire sell them bitches. I got one. Well, let's go ahead and stop sharing now. I got I'm one. This news. Ah, hey, pops. Pops has the, has the one I was about to throw away in the garbage, but he goes, yeah, no, yeah, I'll take yeah. it. I use it. I, 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 as a matter of fact, I, I, I use it to paint with and uh, do yard work, work with. Yeah. I'm serious. No, he does. But anyway. Yeah. All right. Here's some more uh, TK. Let's go ahead and get some more TK here. Oh, boy. Tony Khan on the AEW women's division. All right. We have what division? Best, huh? What division? There's no women division. We have the best women's wrestling in the world right now. And this is from what now? It's just him oh. running his job by the women's division. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Say Look, at Look at his face. Look at his face. Show his face. Show the Jesus. Look at this fucking clown. Look at it. Q-tip looking what motherfucker. Does her name know how to steal money? Mercedes Monet. Look, look at that clown. Look at, look at. And this is yeah. the guy that's, that's the sicko. Look at him. <laughs> this is the guy that's the sicko. Look at him. Well, well, well he's a sicko. Hey, 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 he, hey, you know, you know, 
He's a fucking nerdy looking fuck. You see, you see, he's got a lot he's of fun. Because he's because the guy that got the because he was the they're guy. in the same shape. They're in the same shape he's in. The his followers are because he ain't never had no pussy either. He was he was the guy in elementary school or middle school when the bully was still his chocolate milk. That that's the fucking guy. Do that's that. the guy right there. He took my prairie farms. That's the guy right there. Uh, he's that's the kind right. of guy when he went to school. He's the kind of he, he's the kind of guy that that, that when oh. I went to school, we put in lockers. But he says that that we have the best women's wrestling in the world right now. Sure. Your women's roster sucks. He has no women's roster. He don't. What you Your got? Uh, 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 is fucking trash. Shasha Banks, Monet. I mean, Mercedes Monet, Shaney's Monet, Shay Shay May, or whatever. Shaky May. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll call her that. Shaky May. Your women's roster is fucking trash. It is. It's trash. Well, let's go through some more Mo yeah. Mo Monet. Uh, we got some more about TK here. Talk about his big business. He was on. He was on. Uh, he was on Big Business on Fox. Of course, Fox. Fox Business. And uh, he said that um, they only had one show this year with over thirteen thousand in attendance, and that was for Sting's uh, last match. Now. With that being said, Sting's last match was at that revolution. revolution. And that was Revolution 2024? Yeah. There it is. Um, he said there was thirteen thousand. Now this says that now Wikipedia says that there was sixteen thousand there for attendance. Yeah. Now he probably meant thirteen thousand as paying customers, possibly. Yeah. yeah. All the rest were comps. Yeah, the rest were comps. Um, and I'm not sure if that's accurate accurate or not. Because he is a liar. Yeah. Because um, he does lie. He lies a lot. But and Tony Khan's got some more great things to say. Yeah, what do you have to say this time? Oh, we heard this before over and over and over and over. Tony Khan on Sports Illustrated said this. Tell me if we, Pops, Joey, tell me if we haven't heard this spiel before. Go ahead. Mercedes is one of the greatest free agent signings oh in pro God. wrestling history. One of the most significant signings ever in AEW history. How many times has this motherfucker said this to every fucking body he signs? This is on Sports Illustrated. Yes, he said this to every fucking body he signs. He said this about John Moxley. He said it about Moxley. He said it about Jericho. He said it about Adam Copeland, Cesaro, Samoa Joe, FTR. He has said this to every Sam Park, bro. He said it to old Chicken Bro. He even said it to the scent maker. He said it. He says this the day you he says this to every fucking body that he signs. And it's not a game changer. It's a channel changer. It's not a game changer, Tony. The people pick up their intone remotes and go like this. Click. They change the clicker almost like the as fast the pig the pig on Toy Story 2 did look for Al's toy bar. I'm just being fucking honest. <laughs> I'm being honest. It's, it's, true. A, it's somewhere here. It's somewhere here. It's fucking true. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking true. 
fucking say it. It's fucking true. I didn't expect you to bring out something like that. But it's fucking true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. It's the fucking truth. Yeah. Let's go into some moaning, shall we? Moaning? Yeah, let's go into some moaning. You want me to read that? Yeah, you go ahead and read what she's got to say. And this, this moan. This is from a W fan. I don't know what the fuck that is. Anyway. Mercedes Moan. The CEO. CEO of a small enterprise. She said, and I quote, and I quote, there's, uh, the, uh, there's less restrictions on her contract. Definitely a big reason why I came to AEW, even doing the Mandalorian, which was a Star Wars fucking show. And the, and the show sucked. And it wasn't that fucking good. Yeah. But then again, I don't like Star Wars. Yeah, so. I don't like Star Wars anyway. Anyway. Pops, you're a big fan of Star Trek, but you don't like Star Wars. No, I don't like. Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Star Trek. Don't like Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> even doing the Mandalorian was pulling teeth with the WWE to even try to get time off to film that show. Tony says, "Whatever I need, if I need a private jet to go film in L.A." To form with the board uh, to film with the Born Leaders Wrestle podcast. Uh, uh, to come in for a show, it's available for me. Oh, so, oh, oh, so you want all the perks, huh? You want all the perks, huh? That's what you want. You want, you want to be pampered, is what you want to be. Because, because you, because we already know four eyes is a bitch. The four eyed boyfriend, he's a bitch. <laughs> boyfriend. Well, husband, where fuck his name? He, oh, he, that guy! He, he, oh, oh, damn, damn jabroni! You know uh, that damn, damn jabroni? Yeah. Xavier Woods' is camera guy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know that guy, the one that takes care of Mercedes Monet's dog while she's over fucking over here playing wrestling. Yeah. Try in a small in a small glorified gymnasium building. Uh, and here's some more from Miss Moan. Miss Moan. For so many years, everyone wants the tea on that drama. The day of me walking out of WWE. You're not going to get it unless you buy the book maybe 10 years later. I'll go ahead and say the whole goddamn story. I'll, I'll tell the truth, Miss Moan. This is what happened. You didn't like creative. You, you didn't like creative. And two, they weren't going to give you no perks. They were going, hey, can I have a private jet and film uh, Mandalorian or Mandarin Oranges or whatever the fuck it's called? <laughs> Mandalorian. Mandarin Oranges or whatever the fuck, Mandarin Oranges, where the fuck's called? Oh, all over the backpack, man. That's not cool. All over the fabric. <laughs> For the fabric, all that's not cool. <laughs> and, and you got all butt hurt. And here's the thing, Miss Moan. <laughs> were, were you sleeping there, old man? No. Were you sleeping, old man? But we're, 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 we're talking about AEW. What else you want me to do? It's a sleepy yeah, fucking shit. I'll tell you right now. When, and, and I know Naomi stepped out too, but here's the thing. The gas. She's more talented than I'm going to be honest right now. Uh, Naomi actually did something outside of WWE. She, she was a TNA knockout champion for a while. She actually done stuff. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. You What's know the, that Mercedes Monet was big in Japan, like they all are? She goes to Japan, grabs a fucking toy guitar, and some fucking, some fucking girl, she's saying, her wearing a geese, you're going Ryu or Ryo or Rhino or what the fuck she said sucks. Well, that's great. <laughs> say what you mean to me when you say J.R. No, but, but, but you see, and, uh, you, you, like, here's the thing. But here's the thing you I see. Don't know. You are a good talent. You're but you you believe your own BS. You're not you, 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 no, you here's know, another problem you I know. have. Here's another problem I have with her. Mm -hmm. Tony Khan. She thinks she's the greatest women's wrestler of all. She's time. not. She's not. When you're not, no. you're probably I, I, one it, of it, you. Here's what's going on you're here. Tony Khan is blowing smoke up her ass and she's actually believing it. Of course she does. 
and the reason and, and the and the re reason why this right here is is you see she she she's not she's not in WWE because they didn't cater to her ass. As a matter of fact, they you, you see but that's a you see if if a person ain't ain't in my show, they ain't getting no money. But Tony Khan will pay people because they're, when they're not even there. Well, with that being said, though, I want to do a quick impromptu for you guys. Okay. Um, let's go. Oh, now, you want to take a little break of the rest of the news and do something? Really? Yeah. Um, we know that uh, Forbidden Door is in a day or two. Oh, Forbidden Alpha Door. Is yeah, what I yeah. Uh, AEW back door. AEW uh, looking out my back door. <laughs> Where is Al Wilson? Al <laughs> Home Improvement. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure I'm no, we talk we talk about fruit of a loom out there. Tommy's hitting the mouth of work tonight. <laughs> but uh uh we got the Forbidden Door AEW pay per view for 2024. And oh, it's boy. and uh I believe it's tomorrow oh, as we're recording. That's great. I want to go through and sit and see if you guys even fucking know any of these motherfuckers. Now, now as you know, this is the thing that, that Forbidden Door is all about, is that it's working with other promotions like <clears throat> New Japan and CMLL yeah. and a lot of these other these other uh, companies, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go down. Damn it. There we go. God damn, look at all the matches. How many fucking matches do they got already? God! What is this? Fucking... 13 matches! Are what, you fucking what, kidding what me? Is this, fucking WrestleMania? Good lord! Anyway. Good fucking lord. We, yeah, we may not even read all this shit now. I'm sitting there thinking about it. Um, <coughs> You know what? Just like we did earlier, Pops. Share the screen. Let's share the screen. Please do. All right. Um, we are not reading all that garbage. We're going to share the forbidden door screen. Boom. Can they see it? They yes, sure can. they can. All right. Real quick. Look at all this. Look at all this, Pops. One, two, three. And these are on the pre-shows. Four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, what, eleven, what, twelve, what, thirteen. fucking matches. Well, well, what the hell? Uh, yeah, yeah. What are they trying to be like WrestleMania? We're crying out fucking loud. Backdoor fucking wrestling. And guys, I don't know some of these guys. I'm just gonna fucking. Oh, we should Google it. Uh, we oh, Google it. We should Google, Google, Google it. We should. We should. We should Google it. Anyway, we'll Google it. Chris Statlander and Momo Wanatobo. <laughs> like a name. With Stokely Hathaway. Versus Willow Nightingale and Tam Nakano. Nakano, I believe that's Bull Nakano's niece. Oh, is from what I heard. Is is this a money maker match? Well, why is it on the pre show if it ain't a money maker match? It's on the pre show. Pop, so pops. It's not a money maker match. Is it a money maker match? No. Okay. Uh, I mean, I mean, pops. We know that you're a big AEW fan because we can tell by your T-shirt. But uh, I use this to sweat in. Then we got. Uh, I use this to saw wood. I use this to paint with. Women's Owen Hart Cup uh, first round uh, tournament. Mariah May Storm. Oh, what time was Storm? Storm. Luther and whoever that bitch's name is. Versus... Mano, Munu, Mano, Mishiko, Mawawa. Who the fuck are these people? Some girl named Wawa. Shikadawa uh, versus Soraya with Harley Cameron and a and Anna J. Tell me this: What Soraya, aka Paige, wasn't she supposed to be a game changer in AEW? Now she's pre-show changer. Pops, you remember this, don't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 I remember that. True, yeah. She was just like fucking uh 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 fucking uh. Uh, Mercedes, Mercedes Moan. <laughs> she's supposed to be a game changer as well. Oh, well, uh, uh, she's not. So there you go. I should have known we'll see a trios match. We got a trios match. 
I'm just gonna fucking. I'm gonna say the Ulises. Yeah, the Ulises. Uh, versus the Lucha Brothers and Mystico. Yeah. 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 That's great. That's great. Uh, a ladder match for the vacant AEW uh, TV chip. You all right there, Pops? Yeah, I just killed the bug. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but, damn, it looked like Tony Khan. The <laughs> AEW, uh, what is it? What? Ladder match for the vacant AEW TNT title. We got Take a Shitta. Take Shitta versus Mark Briscoe versus Hyde. Versus Dante, Dante Martin, Martin versus Leo Rush versus El Fantasmo. 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 Well, well, that's great. Pops, on to the next one. Pops, I mean, I guess Mark Briscoe if I had to choose, but fuck, who gives a goddamn? And I'm I'm sorry, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> I don't know. Any. I know. Uh, well, 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 so you, you know. Uh, hey, we got to Google it. You know these people. Uh, hey guys, hit uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I, 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 know I got to Google it. Well, Google uh, but it. but but is isn't that right there a promoter's job is to introduce you know and and and, and get oh. and get you to know his wrestlers. I guess if I had to choose, I'll choose Mark Briscoe or Leo Rush. Single match for the AEW Women's Championship. Mariah May will be at ringside to support both participants. All right, oh, that's, that's great. Timeless Tony Storm versus Mia Shirakawa. All right. Oh, that's great. Um, Another trio's match. Oh, good Lord. The Learning Tree. That, 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 I'll tell you right now, the Learning Tree sucks. Anything with Chris Jericho sucks. Chris Jericho and Big Bill with Jeff Cobb. Who gives a goddamn about Jeff Cobb? Yeah, with Brian Keith. You know, you know, uh, Cowboy Keith from uh, Reality Wrestling. Booker goes. You want to make a few dollars? You want to make a few dollars? The fuck a man can send you the <laughs> book a man. Samo versus Samoa Joe, Hook, and Shibata. Who gives a fuck? Who cares? Uh, I'll choose. I'll take Joe. Just Joe. Then we have. We're not talking about just Joe from WWE. I talk about Samoa Joe. Then we have MJF versus Hukachirio. Yeah, Hukachirio. Who? Hukacharo. Yeah, yeah. Who the hell is that? Is it Cheerios? Cheerios. Hukachirios. That's what we're gonna call it. Then we got a singles match. Who gives a fuck? We got a singles match. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Orange Cassidy. Oh, that's going to be great. That's going to set the world on fire. I, I have nothing against Zack Sabre Jr. I like him as a talent. But he's a Q-tip. But he's a Q-tip. And Orange Cassidy, he, he, he's just a laughing stock. So what a match. Singles match for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. Boy, we got the blader. We got the bleeder, John Ballheaded Moxley here. As versus, he takes on uh, that's Nunzio. <laughs> Takashuku Nunzio, Natito, Titi, uh, what's his name here? I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. right, John uh, Rocky will be, will, will be digging his scrotum. Some guy named Tutsui Natella. I think that's Nito. Nico, whatever his name is. Nico, whatever his name is. Nino, whatever his name is. Winner take call match for the both the AEW TBS title, New Japan Strong Women's title. We got. The greatest star ever signed to AEW. Mercedes Moan versus Stephanie Volger. Valkura. Valkyrie. Valkura. Valkyra. I'm, I believe okay. is how you pronounce that. All right, let's go. Oh, boy, we got another trios match. Boy. How many fucks? That's three trios matches. We got the Elite, who's supposedly the greatest group of all time. The Jackson Boys. The Jackson Boys. And, and Sitmaker Okada versus Scissor Ace. Anthony Bevins, Bowens, Max, Bowens, Bevins, whatever the name of the Max Caster. Who cares? And some guy named Hiro Takashiti. Take a shitty? Yeah, take a shitty with daddy ass. This shit here is making me sleepy. And then we got and the then, wi the women's Owen Hart, uh, the men's Owen Hart Cup tournament first round. Brad Danielson versus Shingo Takagi. Yeah. And then we got a singles match for the AEW Women's Chip for the AEW World <laughs> Championship. Sorry, too much shit here. Swerve Strickland 
who's the AEW World Champion, as he defends it with Prince Nana, as he defends it against uh, Will uh, against uh, Tony Khan's boy, who can't handle the ground, Will Ostrich. So that's great. Does anybody really want to see this? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Uh, 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 he has a lot of matches and boring matches. What do you have there? Uh, 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 That's uh, too uh, many. Uh, uh, Owen Hart? Uh, 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 Owen Hart? Uh, yeah, they got an Owen Hart classic tournament thing for, yeah, for, yeah, women, yeah. for women and men. Yeah. He, 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 he never wrestled for Tony Khan. Well, but he's in the AEW video game, one of the best video games of all time, according all right. to AEW Marks. Well, well, you want to tell you what I think of AEW back door? <laughs> it's in 2024. It's in the back door. They, yeah. Uh, but they should take I'm it up. I'm not watching door. it. I'm not paying 50 fucking dollars. I could find something else to spend 50 bucks on. Did Tony Khan say that he had star power? Who in that list was star power? Yeah. Nobody. Even the people from fucking CMLL and fucking New Japan, they weren't even stars. Nope. You want to know why? Because Tony Khan bought the stars already. That's why he's going to he, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. he has Okada. He, 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 Tony, Khan. Tony Khan, you know, he's already bought enough stars. And and, and, and he even admitted himself, Marks, that he can't make stars. He don't know how. Does anyone give a fuck about AEW backdoor? I, 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 I don't give a fuck about it. I don't care. Too many fucking matches. 13? Are you serious? Just imagine. Being there live and sitting there. You know what I'd be like? 14 fucking matches. You, you, you know what, what I'd be like? Yeah, go ahead. Be like, if I was there, I'd be like, hey, wake me up when a good match comes on. Wake me up until September ends, because that's, I, I, that's I, how many matches and, 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 and you know what would happen? You'd wake me up as, as, as the motherfucking show was over. Well, I guess that told me there wasn't no good matches on. Like, I've been to a lot of wrestling shows in my life, but 13 fucking matches? That's too many. And, you know, here's the thing. And, and, and I can't get over this. Here's the thing, you know. He's got all the, he, you know, he's bringing all these people in. You know, from other federations. Mm -hmm. But he's not, he's not giving them anything like, Boosting them up like, well, you know, this guy right here, this guy right there, you know. You don't know him. But, mm -hmm. but Pops, Google it. Yeah, Google it. Let's go into some more wrestling news. We already talked That's about That's what they said these days. Fuck you. Fuck you. You tell me who they are, bitch. Let's I can say ahead. bitch too, you know. Let's go ahead and move on. We already talked about the back door. And I had enough of it because it's 13 matches. Yeah, uh, uh, I, 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 like I love going back door, but I don't want to go with Titanic. Mm -hmm. But hey, I got some more news. Uh, Rhea Ripley and Buddy Matthews got married. Congratulations to them. Yeah, congratulations yeah. to them. Yeah. Good for them. Good for them. Because uh, literally, uh, you know, you know, it, it's hard to find people these days. Yeah. And, and, uh, and I don't know Buddy, but he 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 must be something. He had Alexa Bliss, and that's got Rhea. Yeah, what happened? Oh, 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 and he was also dating Ray's daughter yeah, for a little boy, while, too. Yeah, boy, old Buddy Matthews has got some Buddy Wacky or something. <laughs> I don't know. He's got something there. Is he packing? Uh, he Maybe. Be. But, um. Because we know one thing, it certainly ain't the money. No, no, <laughs> no it ain't. Because we know this. And see, especially especially oh, with Rhea Ripley. We know Rhea Ripley's the bread, uh, the bread I, baker. I, I like Buddy Matthews as a, as a talent. I just feel sorry for him being that horrible house of black. Mm-hmm. I feel sorry and for him. I have to agree. It's nothing against him personally. Because he's a great talent. He is. He's really good. But I just feel sorry for him being in that fucking horrible also, house of black. Also, what puts him over, too, is I personally don't think he has any kind of personality. That's another and that's And that's good also worker, what draws though. him he, back, He too. works good in the ring. He's just... But good for them. Yeah. Good for... Let's talk about some... The, uh, uh, do you think... Do you think he says mommy a lot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now let's talk about some more. WWE announces deal to hold WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Royal Rumble in Indianapolis at the Lucas Oil Stadium. Stadium. Home of the uh, Indianapolis Colts, by the way. Yeah, Pops, did you hear about that? No, I didn't hear about that. 
they're they're going to hold a wrestle. Well, they're going to hold a future WrestleMania. They're going to hold a um, SummerSlam, and they're going to hold. Uh, they're they're actually going to hold uh, the 2025 Royal Rumble. Yes. At Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh damn. Which guys, I'm not, you know, you know, I know that some people don't know this, but um, because I was born in Indiana, yeah. um, and so we've been to Indiana quite a bit. Um, yeah. The only other time that I ever seen a big thing come to Indiana was WrestleMania, WrestleMania eight. In the Hoosier Dome. At the at the Hoosier Dome. Yeah. Uh, other than that, they haven't really had any kind of real wrestling they, there. They've had like Raws and SmackDown. I'm talking about big yeah. pay-per-views. But hey, pay-per-views, the only one I've seen there was WrestleMania 8. Yeah, as far as, I mean, unless we're probably missing one in some capacity, that's the only one I can think of. Um, they, they're they not known to having, you know, uh, you know, big pay-per-views there. Like Kentucky never really gets big pay reviews either. It's very seldom we get one. Fuck, it's either in Lexington or or here in Louisville. And you know here, you know, it's hard for us to get a Raw or SmackDown. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So, sometimes it's hard to get Raw. Actually, they were here. They were here a, a, couple, a, weeks ago. a couple weeks ago. That they, they had a SmackDown. Yeah, they had a SmackDown in Louisville a couple weeks ago. Uh, didn't want, didn't really want to go, but uh, and you had to work anyway. And then I had to work anyway, but um. But uh, uh, you know, and in in Louisville we have the uh, KFC Yum Center, and it holds twenty two thousand people in it. Yeah, uh, I'm looking right now, and this is the Lucas uh, Oil Stadium for Indianapolis, and it holds seventy thousand people. Yes, and like Tommy said, this is the this is uh, where the Colts play. Yeah, for the NFL. So, damn, that's cool because uh, already they already announced that the Royal Rumble of 2025 is going to be there. Yeah, and then they're going to have a future SummerSlam there at some point. It may not be in 2025, but yeah, and a WrestleMania, and then a future WrestleMania. So, they, so they already struck deals that that they're going to have something close to us finally. Uh, that's actually something big. Yeah, because uh, usually, I think I think. Uh, when it comes to Kentucky and Indiana, it's hard to get stuff. Uh, like that. Uh, WrestleMania Eight was a big one. Um, Louisville, I think the only time there was a pay per view in Louisville was Judgment Day two thousand. Judgment Day two thousand, and that was in uh, Freedom Hall. And then Lexington have had, had backlash. Back show six. Was it oh six or oh five? I think it was oh five. I think it was oh six. Oh six. And that's all that that's been able to come to like Indiana and Kentucky. So this is pretty big. Yeah, this is big to have something come uh, come like that. Well, yeah. if they did have uh, in your house Ground Zero, and that was at the uh, Louisville Gardens at the time. Yeah, but I, I would say I would yeah. say that was that huge. was an in your house though. Yeah, that was, a, that was a in your haste, as Brett says. We got some more things here. Triple H on the, more things on the Pat McAfee show. Triple H. Okay. Said being on Fox. If the crowd chants "Holy shit" or something worse, they take the audio out. Which I've seen that. Yeah. Well, I've seen it. Sometimes they take the picture and the audio out, and it's a black screen, which I have seen. I've seen that too. Mm-hmm. The Rock comes in, and you can't tell what the Rock. You can't tell what the, uh, what, the what the Rock to do. Yeah. He does what he does. He. We won't have these issues with Netflix, which is true. So we apparently, won't. apparently, from what Triple H has been saying, it's Fox and USA doing that stuff. It's Fox and USA that's the ones cutting out the audio and cutting out the video sometimes. And from what this says is, Netflix, you're going, you're going to hear two, all that in 2025, which when, I can't wait for. When when Raw comes to Netflix. Now, some people, once again, these fucking idiots, you know, these cereal-eating fucking idiots, they want to sit here and say that, that, that oh, they're going to be loud to cuss now, and, and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, is, this the, is this the comeback of the Attitude Era, because that's the only era I ever loved in wrestling? No. Listen, 
just because they're going to cuss a little bit doesn't mean you're going to see titties, you're going to see yeah. ass, you're going to see fucking balls and yeah. dicks. And well, they probably like to see that. Listen, I'm glad that at least they're going to change their product a little bit because yeah. it's sta- it is stale. It is stale. Now, the in-ring is pretty still good. The in-ring is great. It's just everything else is pretty stale. Yeah. <laughs> and um, if that has to involve them into going to Netflix, going to Netflix and being able to do what they want to do, do what they want to do to have at it, have at it, because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, it I, was, I was invested when I seen The Rock beating the shit out of Cody Rhodes and yeah. shit. If you're going to give me this on Netflix, if, yeah. Yeah, if you're going to give me this on if Netflix, you're going to give me shit like this on Netflix, blood, the fucking shit like you were doing on Raw with The Rock and Cody. That makes me want to buy get Netflix. Mm-hmm. If you're giving me this, and also if you're giving me all the library shit that Peacock's got, that'll make it even better. The cock. That'll make it even better. Mm-hmm. I, I would definitely get Netflix. You know, people say, well, you have to endure commercials. Well, fuck, you got to do commercials on TV? I can endure that. Everything has commercials. Yeah, I'm going to have to YouTube no has commercials. Yeah, so I'm going to be yep. no- Deal sure does. Would that be a big deal to you? No. Would that be a big deal to you, Pop? Huh? Is that a big deal, commercials? Fuck no. Have a commercial. Everything, everything has commercials. Yeah, I would have no big deal with that. But let's talk about some other news. Dijic. Dijic Dijakovic. Yeah. Or Dominic Dijakovic. Yeah. I believe is his name. Who was T Bar. Yeah, who was T Bar on uh, Retribution. It did, it did nothing. It did nothing. In NXT, he's been doing nothing. Um, he's on the Raw roster doing nothing. Okay. Because he got drafted, which being drafted don't do much. Yeah. Uh, and this is what he said. I guess if they wanted to make me an offer right now, they could at this point. I'm not terribly invested in listening to it. Just by the nature of, the, of, a, of a WWE contract. They can hire you and release you for no reason. They can pull a fast one on me and you're rehired, just kidding, or you're fired. Then he also said something else, too. Yeah. I want to say this real quick. Well, I want to say something about that real quick. When, well, he when says, get done with this. and of course, this is on, uh, this is on Twitch. He, yeah. said, he said all this on Twitch. Uh no laughs. If they come to me with this with a massive number or some promises of something like that, at this point I would consider getting in writing. And this was him being offered the speed championship. Who gets a fuck about that? Yeah, yeah, who gets a fuck about that title? But listen, here's the here's the thing about what he said about the Well here's the thing, buddy. Here's the thing there, Dijic. You suck. I'm gonna yeah. say this right now. I'm sorry. I've never seen anything in you. And by and be honest, you've been in WWE at least five or six years. Five or six years, and you haven't gotten better. Same thing with that Gable Stevenson. They got rid of him because he wasn't he wasn't getting better. Yeah, it was good to have an Olympic background, but the people say, "Well, Chad Gable's getting away." Well, he has fucking charisma. He does shit to fucking get over. He's a great wrestler. Yeah, he's decent on the mic. Yes, and he has some charisma. Yeah. Fucking Gable Stevenson, what do you got besides wearing a fucking singlet? And, and and listen, they try to do things with you, pal, and you suck. Yeah. They they he was doing it. He went right back to NXT. They were doing shit for with him. And, and, and you well, certainly didn't get over his T bar either. Yeah, you didn't get over his fucking T bar with your partner Mace either. And, and fucking here's the thing. You're gonna get in WWE, you're not gonna last very long. I'm being honest. And, and 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 listen, I have some things to say about this as far as some of the stuff I do agree with him he, on. Like him saying uh uh him saying that like 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 getting stuff in writing because you can't your your shit can't be promised. Um your like the WWE contract, you could be hired or fired at any time for any reason. That's valid. Mm-hmm. And it's shitty to do that. That's the it way is. WWE does work that, that way. But at the end of the day, it's business. it's business, and you weren't getting it done. Yeah, you weren't that good. Posh, you even know who Di, uh, 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 Dijakovic is. Dijakovic is. They don't know. There you go. But 
How do you feel about that, though? Oh, well, well, you know, WWE, you know, you, you run a business. If you're not producing, you know, uh, 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 you, you're not going to get nowhere. Like, literally, it's just... They gave him 50 million chance besides besides AEW, which you could get away with because it's not a business. Yeah. It's a passion project. Yeah. yeah. You can put money into a passion project all you want, but you ain't going to make any money off of it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Where WWE is a business. They're there to make money. And if you're not making money, you're out the door. Yeah. It's just the way it is. Yeah, people say, That's the way life know? is. How do they release people? It's a business. Uh, you, were, you I'm know, sorry. Uh, Here's what I feel. If if they gave you opportunities, for example, Rick Shea, great worker and everything. But Mike skills, he's not that great. And personality, he's not that great. So why keep a guy like that? When you could get younger guys. Uh, that may feel that AEW way. can give that money wrong, away better. if they want to. And and, and 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 not produce anything, that that's left up to them. But 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 you know, if you're going to run a business, you, you you're 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 going to ha- you're going to have to have you know, you, you're going to have to have your fucking quality. And, 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 and come on, you've been in WWE for a couple for six seven years now, and you haven't gotten better. You know, you know, so, it, it, so anybody. Why do you think they wouldn't let you go? You know. Anybody that, that 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 you know, it doesn't matter what kind of business you're in, but 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 if you ain't, you know, if, if, if the person there is not, you know, doing the standards that he should yeah. be doing, you're gonna get fired, and that and that right here goes for any fucking job you do. When did he start WWE? Now now I'm actually interested. 2017, bro. Yeah, you've been there for a while. Uh, you've been there since literally 2017. You've been there for all seven years, almost seven years, seven years, uh, seven years, and you dude, haven't gotten better. You, you're worried about about getting fired, dude. You should already have your money stocked. And then you also have to realize this too. He's 37. He's 37 years yeah. old, almost pushing 40. And people are like, well, you know, a bunch of people, you know, fucking. You know, wrestling like like AJ is fucking like forty five or whatever. Yeah, and AJ's a star, and he's been a star for a long time. Dijic has never been a star. Dijic is not a star, and he hasn't been one. And guess what? He's not gonna pop at forty to be a fucking star. Yeah. Nope. That's too old. It's too old. You, uh, I, you know, I'm gonna say this right here. I'm gonna say this right here. He he's been there. So how long now? Since, 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 since seven, that, years, uh, seven years, pop. Seven years. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing, my friend. Here, here, here. I hope that you stocked your money. Mm-hmm. Because because I don't think that you're really gonna be there too very much longer. Oh, he's already about to be released. Yeah. yeah he already I mean, asked for well, it. You see. You see, you see, you see I, if I was in, if I've been been in that business for seven years, I'd be like, huh? I I I, I mean, I mean, back back in my you know push push it almost pushing forty. You know, I've been, I've been there seven years. Yeah, I'm stocking my fucking money. So uh, I'd be like, I don't give a fucking fire me. You know, let me go. I've got my money already. Fuck it. Okay, we got one last wrestling news and then we're going to answer just two questions because that's all we got right now yeah if you guys want to ask us questions please do yeah feel free to ask us some questions yeah because uh uh we're going to answer some more questions for you guys now we already answered the one about jacob fought two for tnq Ponder, yeah. so big shout out to him also we should need give another shout out to tnq Ponder. yeah for this because he actually sent this on twitter to us on twitter um and it's from uh tmz sports uh personally i don't give a damn about tmz i think yeah. i think they're a bunch of ass wipes and crooks and crooks um and, and getting in people's business absolutely and uh but uh we're gonna go ahead and talk about this real quick uh it's an exclusive that happened a couple days ago uh ex wrestler to cold scorpio was arrested for stab uh, for violently stabbing a man, uh, but he cl- but he's claiming self defense. 
Now, with that being said, I want to say this. I actually read the article about this, and Tommy read the article yeah. too. <clears throat> um, and some people are clowning him because Tuco Scorpio is not a wrestler anymore. Yeah. He is a security guard. Yeah, people are making fun of him. Yeah. Hey, man, people got to eat. People have to have a job. Okay? It's, it's just the way things are. Some wrestlers have... Some wrestlers have a job now. Like, what the fuck? And um, he works as a security guard. And in this store, uh, a guy was lighting up a cigarette, apparently. And Tuco Scorpio, you know. Oh, you can't smoke in here. Yeah, hey, hey, you can't smoke in here. And the guy uh, got mouthy with him and started to jump on Too Cold. And Too Cold had a pocket knife in his in his uh, like it is in his uh, pockets, and he ended up stabbing the guy. And uh, he ended up stabbing the guy a couple of times. Uh, and uh, the guy is claiming that uh, he was not an aggressor. That Too Cold just lunged at the guy and started stabbing him. And that's what the guy is claiming. But Too Cold is, is claiming that, uh, you know, it was in self-defense because the guy was jumping on him. Um, and uh, uh, they, uh, they ended up arresting Too Cold for, uh, like, like it was assault. And uh, I think it was assault with a, dead, a, a deadly weapon um, with a knife. And, uh, so yeah, he got arrested for that and, uh, they're trying to put him in court and, uh, he, he, he pled, uh, not guilty because he doesn't believe he, 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 he attacked, you know, he stabbed this man in self-defense. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm on too cold side. I'm on too cold side for this. And it's not because he's a wrestler. It's because literally you can't trust motherfuckers these days. There's nuts motherfuckers out here. Yeah. Like, Pops, you remember that day when we were coming back from Kroger at yeah. night? And yeah. this bitch was yelling? Yeah. She looked like she was on drugs and shit? Oh, yeah. She was yelling at us. Yeah. Dad, as we were passing by. Yeah. Calling us bitches or some shit. Like, yeah. this bitch doesn't even know us. She doesn't even know anything. Like, I've never met this woman in my life. Bitch People are fucking drugs. nuts. She, 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 she was high on, high on drugs. She was on like drugs that. or alcohol or something. Yeah. You can't but, talk motherfuckers these days. Pops, but, how do you feel about it? But, well, I would have to see the surveillance footage. Then why don't you bring that out? I mean, uh, if it, I, ha- we, if it we, happened we, in the store, then yeah, they should have a surveillance. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Is where, where, where's the surveillance footage at? You know? Mm-hmm. Let me see. Let me see that. You know, but just off that, what do you, what do you feel? Do you think just like, why would, like, do you think Too Cold just jumped on this guy for no reason, or do you think there was a fucking scuffle? And he ran it, that old buddy ran a dick letter. Uh, like I said, I I can't, I can't go either way on this. I would have to see the footage to just to see who, who who did this and who did that. I would have to. I mean, I'm just gonna go with that just because there's fucking nuts motherfuckers out there. Me? Oh, well, yeah, God. yeah, I, I, I agree with 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 it with being nuts, but but in the case of, of this right here, I would have to look at look at some footage, uh, just just to see what happened here, where it went, how did it get that far? Now, mm-hmm. me on me, I'll agree with pops on that. If there's footage, why don't you show it? Yeah. And if there's footage, if it was in a store. When old buddy, when old buddy came in, and he's and he's lighting his eagle twenty, right? And uh, it too cold is going. Hey, buddy, you can't smoke in here. It's a building. Well, and then if the guy's getting mouthy or pushing him, well, he'd be damn right. And too cold's in the right on this. Mm-hmm. He defended himself. Now, now we went too far with the savvy issue, but he did defend himself. Well, listen, you're gonna. You're gonna have to impact, like, you know. Uh, but again, I have another problem. You gotta take care of you know people. Yeah, you know? yeah, and, and I have another problem with this. 
One, because he's a fame former wrestler. Here comes this fucking jock sniffer. The TMZ guy? Yeah. Or, 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 no, the buddy too. Oh, I know. The old buddy too. Yeah. He's smoker. The, <laughs> the smoker. You know, fucking, fucking saying, oh, man, he's a former wrestler. I didn't know that. Let's see if we can get some money out of him. Yeah. Like Hacksaw. There's, de- de- there's definitely some yeah. stuff here. That's... Like, for example, like Hacksaw Jim Duggan said, he hit a guy, he hit a guy, a fan that was belligerent and fucking was pushing him in an independent show. So he hit him. And, and fucking the guy goes, oh, man, some wrestler, he hit me. And what does Hacksaw say? Well, you know, well, you're a wrestler, you're a phony wrestler when you go to court. 10, 20, 30,000. They take the goddamn money rack. Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy's a former wrestler. Oh, just like that one guy. Uh, you remember uh, uh, Big Show had a guy yeah. at, a, at a at a like a casino or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and, and Big Show pushed the guy. Yeah, he goes, man, just, just get out of my face. He, he, and, and the he, guy he just kept coming. Night. And the guy just kept coming. He, 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 was a, he was a wrestler trying to get his room. And fuck it, he just had, probably had a show at WCW at the time. Yeah. And, and he's tired and he wants to go to fucking sleep. And here comes this fucking guy. Hey, can you sign this? Can you sign that? And Big Show goes, listen, man, I ain't in the mood for your shit. And fucking then guy keeps hassling him, hassling. So Big Show goes, you know what, fucker, piss the guy. So I would have done the same no. goddamn thing. And I agree with you on on fucking some people are fucking nuts. Mm. And, and and I'm sorry, I'm gonna say this right now. That's why that's why I don't I don't, I don't really associate with a lot that's of people. That's why I'm gonna say this right now. I'm gonna be honest. That's why I keep my fucking circle small. Mm-hmm. And one, I don't trust people when I go outside anyway. Because some people, I'm, I'm not. I, I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go like this right here. Look, if you if you if you got if you got some surveillance cameras, show it. Yeah, for sure. I agree with that. Let us know in the comments down below uh, if if you agree with the two cold Scorpio situation. Um. We are going to answer just a couple of questions here. And then we're going to get up out of here. And we're going to get up out of here. You know what? We'll go ahead and talk about this one real quick just because it's a funny one. Uh, you can't take my dignity. Uh, ask, uh, do you all uh, know if uh, if we'll ever get a Trish Stratus OnlyFans? Probably not. Ask Prob- the military guy. Yeah, probably not. Ask that uh, guy she's with now. You know the guy that he did a Hall of Fame. Yeah, we got he, booed. he got booed out of the building. Yeah. Oh, uh, you well the reason why well, I'm going to say this right here the reason why he got booed out of and, and you know sickos are every the WWE we yeah. already know that. Mm-hmm. The, the, re, the reason why all, all these sickos booed him because they couldn't get the pussy. Well, that's because they fucking eat cereal well, and fucking know, have Cheeto they, dust on their chairs. Know. You know, and fucking, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I tell you what, I, 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 if I, oh, if, if I was there, if, if I would have been there, I, I would have said this right here. You know, I, 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 I told all the booers to shut up, man. You're just mad because you couldn't get that pussy. I admire that man because he got that pussy. Uh, listen, she's a mom. Yeah, she, she has a, she has a. Uh, her own like yoga stuff. And, she's doing great things too. Though. And she's on she's on Canadian uh, Got Talent or yeah. some shit show. Um, she's doing a lot of good things. She's a model and yeah. stuff, and she's and and she works for WWE sometimes. She ain't doing OnlyFans. She doesn't need to do OnlyFans. No, I'm gonna be honest. Her run, her run. Her <laughs> she's already making. Hey, she's already making money. She don't need. She's already making money. <clears throat> Uh, King Couponer asked, uh, what could modern wrestling learn from the territorial days of wrestling? Just, once again, I'm going to harp on this. When you bring in people. Let them know who they are. They need to let them know who they are. Or do vignettes. Didn't, didn't we just see that with fucking, with fucking, uh, 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 whatever it's called, uh, damn, forbidden, uh, forbidden door. Yeah. Some of these people don't know who the hell some of these guys are. And of course, the AEW fanboys are going to say this to you: Google it. Well, that's not my fucking job. 
Why should I do their job? It doesn't take anything to grab. Am I going to get paid to Google? Because if that's the case, sure, by all means, I'll do it. What you, 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 you know, it, if you guys would watch, you know, these people would watch uh, Memphis Wrestling when uh, Kamala come into picture, they showed him, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, in, in, in his, uh, you know, air, in his uh, own area, which, uh, you know, it, all you have to do is grab a, grab a camera. What, what they did was, is they did it they did it geniusly wise him walking through through the through the woods and, and, that, and that right there was 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 was, was, was and, and and jerry jerry's fucking back uh, 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 woods where he walked where, where he was walking in they they boosted this guy up, up, up so high because he was going against jerry the king lawler and nobody knew who he was well after the after that film and they showed clips of him too wrestling other places so when it come time for 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 the match to start in louisville gardens they all knew who kamala was wonder music video you have to assume okay you have to assume these people that are going that are watching my wrestling show right now I have to assume they don't know who this is. Mm -hmm. We are going to explain who this is, why you should care. And I'm going to be honest. That's why I think WWE does it better with that. For current day, yes. For current day, in my opinion. Like, for example, when they brought in Jacob Fatu, the announcers told you who this is. I mean, granted, I'm tired of seeing Samoan come you, out. Yeah, but at least they're telling you who the fuck he is. No. Back in that right there, Dave, they, and, and it still should be should be for today. You, you know, if, if you, you know, you don't, all these new wrestlers come in and and, and, and they, nobody knows anything about them. If you wrestled before? And listen. Show me clips. And also, I want to talk about Forbidden Door real quick. All right. Of just this. Listen, and I'm going to say this right here for for Mr. TK, Tony Khan. Well, he, he don't watch us, remember? You, you got you to blow his ass. Well, yeah. Um, you got to suck his ass. Yeah, we motherfucker. Well, I'm trying to help him out with this situation right here. You, don't you help can't him. help him out. Listen, I understand that you think these are dream matches for, for Forbidden Door. And I understand that you love New Japan Wrestling. And yes, your fan base of, we'll give you 700,000. How about that, Tony? You know, it's mostly around 600,000 that sometimes watch. Sometimes five. And sometimes five that watch, that watch uh, fucking AEW every, every week. I'll give you 700,000 people. Okay, that's the reason why your television show doesn't grow any, Tony, is because you cater that 700,000 people just like Small you, niche. the sickos that you say. Yeah, the shirt that you want. Yeah, the, that great shirt that we showed you right there on camera. So, Jabber Joe needs to get that and stop wearing that Nyko shirt or whatever. You know, that uh, fucking... uh you got to realize, not everybody watches New Japan Pro Wrestling or watches CMLL. Yeah. They don't give a damn who these people are. And you don't help to tell us who they are. And anyway. you don't help to tell anybody who they are either. I just want to get that out to you. Hopefully you take it to heart, pal. He won't. But you won't. We, we He's already been doing know. it too long. He's been doing it too long. But That's all he ever knows. Let's get to the last question. Have we had a, <laughs> have we had a choo choo train come through? No, we have. I don't think so either. Uh, could have been, could have been. Um,
we have from Jason Peck is the guy that asked the last question. Well, actually, last two questions, it looks like. Okay, so we, so we got two questions. We have four questions for five questions. Yeah. I'll take it. Uh, Jason Peck's two questions, and these are the last two questions, is do you think Ricky Steamboat should have had a longer reign with the championship after beating Flair? Pop, you love 1989. Yes. In WCW. Yes. In WA. Yes. How do you feel about the Flair and uh, uh, the Flair Steamboat trilogy? Love it. Uh, it's it, it, you're on the edge of your seat because you don't know what's going to happen. Bo both of them did a marvelous job. They, they they know each other so well and 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 they 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 fed off of each other that's what they did they fed off of each what other was mm -hmm. what was it shot down rumble 89. was it shot down yep and then, is that yep. is that where he won the belt yep okay yep. Rumble 89. Yep. And, then, and then uh they had the match at the clash in new orleans the two out of three falls yep and then they had their last match at wrestle war 89. I know that you're a big Chi Town Rumble fan, Jay. You, no, it's just I know that you. You actually have that on DVD. I already, I already know you do. Uh, yeah, Chi Town Rumble is actually where he won it. Yeah, and that was yeah. February. And then he held it till he, he lost it at Russell War. Okay, and then uh, and he didn't get it back from Flair on the last one, did he? Nope. Nope. So he only held it from Chi Town Rumble. He he did beat. Uh, they had a, they did the two out of three falls in New Orleans, but that was a draw. And that was the third. At the clash. Okay. Okay, so he only held it, literally from February to May. Yeah. So he only held it for basically three months yeah not even three months yeah not even three months and uh that one was with the great american bash that was with funk that was with funk yeah yeah um there we go it's the clash of the champions it's that one right yep yeah uh clash of the champions uh they had a two out of three falls match yeah the player's foot was under the rope, yeah. Yeah. Um, held the, held the uh, big gold belt for three months. That's not a real long reign. No, when no. You sit there and you think and about then after, it. after his feud with Flair, he went on to face, uh, he went for the U.S. title with fucking Luger. Did, didn't he? Yep. Yeah, we got a we got Ricky in the background right now. Yeah, someone hates it says Ricky Steamboat ain't a good worker, but it does. Yeah, fuck, fuck you. I'll talk about my Ricky Steamboat, man. I love, I love Remember that guy? Love, well, he said I Rick, love the What did he flag. say? Hey, that quote, what did he say? Uh and by the way, this is a big not a big YouTuber, but a somewhat big YouTuber. Uh he's saying that because uh, he's a big Randy Savage fan. That uh, Savage did all the work in that WrestleMania three match because Ricky Steamboat's work is shit. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, Ricky Steamboat held in his end of the deal. He worked just as hard as Randy Savage did in that match. Absolutely. And by the way, Ricky Steamboat's a great fucking worker. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I didn't really care for. I that. didn't care about his ninety, the dragon over here. <laughs> yeah, but... the ninety, the ninety one dragon outfit. There, there. Yeah. In '91, but uh, uh, I mean, his his matches didn't suffer. No. I'm talking about, you know. But well, yeah, uh, really. Do you think? I, now, now, I don't know this for sure. I, I don't know for sure. I just hear stories that 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 uh, his wife ruined his career. She kind of did. She kind of yeah. did. Uh, uh, you, you know, I, and, and, and what I get is that the, the reason why he lost the belt back to Flair mm -hmm. is because his wife didn't want him to be on the road so much. 
But I, but I would have enjoyed Ricky Steamer having a little bit of a longer run. I think I think Ricky Steamboat was a fabulous entertainer. Shit, even uh, even in the I, late nineties, yeah. even in the late nineties in WCW, he could still go. He was in his pushing the forty but, range. Uh, well, people, you, Jericho, you know, yeah, and this was, and that was in two thousand nine. Two thousand nine, and and also and, and also in WCW, he had a great. Great matches with, yeah. with Steve Regal. He had great matches with Austin. Hell, even that Spring Stampede match. And both of these guys were older. Ric Flair and great. Yeah, that's what I said. He's a great performer. He's Hogan at that time. Yeah, of course, great Hogan performer. Money. Yeah. Could sell anything. Uh, and as far as people saying that, you know, dumbasses saying, in my opinion, I think they're dumbasses. So yeah, they evidently must must not have seen these matches, or or, or, or thought, you know, that uh, they that's the first time I've ever seen anybody wrestle before. Oh, they that's, we, we've heard that before. So, uh, in my opinion, is you know, uh, what the fuck do you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and not only that, but uh. I actually missed it, unfortunately, because I had to work. But they had that that steamboat uh, biography. Yeah. Uh, I missed it, unfortunately, and that yeah. that was from a few weeks ago. But I accidentally missed it because I had to fucking work, unfortunately. But hopefully, hopefully, I won't be able to see it uh, soon. Hey, actually, you know what? I might wait. Well, I don't know. WWE doesn't do doesn't do DVDs anymore. No, of course not. I was thinking, I was like, cause, cause I, I have volume one and volume two of the, of that, of the A and E uh, biographies, and I was thinking, you know what, I'm, I'll just, I'll just wait till it comes out on DVD. Well, what, what started it? What, what started it all with Rick, with, with uh, Ricky Steamboat coming to, 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 to the territory of the NWA, is, is, uh, that they, they, they made it up where, where you know that. Uh, that you know, uh, hot stuff. Eddie Gilbert got got beat up by the by the four horsemen. Yeah, is what it was all about. And and, and he and he and he 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 asked him for another match with a new with a with a tag team partner of my choosing. And 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 when that when the when the time could come for the match, he he, he the the guy the guy was a, a mask. He had, they 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 said a, a mask guy signed the signed the name to the signed the, the contract to wrestle. And, and and the music started to play, and Ricky Steamboat come out and 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 they're in the, they're in that studio audience. They just went fucking totally wild. Those matches are so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go watch the. That was the saving grace of '89. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Rick and, and you know you know how good Rick Flair and Steamboat is together, you know, wrestling each other. Steamboat got it. You had no business being here. You had no business being here at all. <laughs> it was it, it was just so damn good. I and and I, I I miss those those days. I really do. Of wrestling. Let's go with the last question. Yeah. And we can wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, which I think we've been asked this quite a bit, but uh, Magnum TA, uh, do you think he would have been champion if he didn't have the accident? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He would have yeah. been champion if he didn't yeah, have they, the accident. Uh, sure. they, they, it, it, That's where they, he was going to be at Circuit yeah. 86. They groomed him to be the world heavyweight champion. It wasn't supposed to be Nikita. It was supposed to be uh, Magnum TA. Magnum TA. Absolutely. Um, with that being said, though, I am uh, we are going to get out of here, but that's before it. We do, wrap it up. Um, before we do, let's talk the merchandise one more time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, I <laughs> got to. Um, listen, uh, if you guys just want stickers for free, we will, su- we will give them to you guys for free. Just send me, send us a message. Um, on our on our platforms, you guys see Twitter at the bottom. You guys see our Instagrams at the bottom. But uh, the stickers are uh, the let's cover that up there. The new logo. Yep. 
of us as the Three Stooges. Yep. <laughs> Big shout out to Damo for making this one for us. Yep. Damo. Hell yeah. Big shout out. And then we got the rest of the Grand Page Classic logo. And uh, we will uh, give those to you guys for free. Uh, they're, they're quality stickers. Um, these aren't cheap stickers by any means. Uh, they were professionally done. And uh, yeah. um, we will, uh, you, you'll get all three. Now, if you want to help us out, uh, you can get the pin. And uh, all you gotta pay is seven dollars. Seven dollars is for the pin. Like I said, it's going for the cost of it, and it's going to shipping, guys. We ain't gonna make no. any money off this whatsoever. Yeah. Pops is laughing over there, making fun of me about that. But hey, hey, listen, I've seen people sell pins for fifteen fucking dollars, yeah. guys. I know that, son. But I, 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 I want to say this: we're we're giving these people. Great systems, and, and, and they're and they're lagging. They're, they're dragging their fucking feet. Well, with this at least, the pins are limited, guys. There's yeah, only a hundred. Very limited. There, there's only a hundred, um, uh, that are going to be up for sale. And if you want one, you need to get, get in contact. You need to get in contact with us. Yeah, well, if I you have, know. and 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 if you have PayPal, it, it will go through. Yeah. Uh, quickly for you guys. Now, for you, sure. you, you pay seven dollars for the pen. You get you, you get all three stickers, right? Yeah. And the stickers come okay. with. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing right here. Uh huh. Here, here's the thing that that, that I want to push toward right here. You're getting three systems and I'm games that go to the pen. system. Yeah, now, and, and 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 you still, you know, and that's fucking absolutely free too. Yeah. And and, and I don't understand what the fucking problem is. Oh, people have their problems, but nonetheless, if you guys want the pen, st extremely high quality pen, good, love the pen. If you guys want one, get in contact with us. If you have PayPal, it will be preferred most definitely yeah. over anything else. And it's only going to be seven dollars, guys. We'll ship it to your house. Only seven dollars. No, uh, no shipping charges on top of that. Nothing. It's only seven bucks, and that's mostly for the shipping costs and to get the pin made. Yeah. So we're not making anything off of this. So to let you guys well, know, no, no, hell, YouTube don't pay us shit. No, they don't. But we got the rest of the rampage pin, the classic, um, the classic logo. Uh, we tried to get the new logo, but uh, the new logo looked funky. Yeah, yeah, it does uh, look funky. And uh, like literally, it made it made look it, it made pops look like Jim Cornette, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, not that I not, not that I'm complaining. I love to be Jim Cornette. But uh, uh, definitely, guys, you guys want the pen? Seven dollars all in and you get you get all three stickers uh and, and we need uh, to get, get to three thousand and we need to get to three thousand subs so guys uh thank you guys for watching uh rest of rampage you guys want it get in contact with us for sure um and please subscribe to the youtube channel because we are giving away the gamecube with wrestling games we're giving away the n64 with wrestling games we're giving away the playstation 2 with wrestling, wrestling games, games. And they're all cult classics when yes. it comes to wrestling. These aren't crappy games that we're giving away. So, and so please hit the subscribe button. Absolutely. absolutely free. Absolutely free, guys. So let us know if you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com, slash rampage2. Get in contact with us on Twitter. Get in contact with us on Instagram. Get us in contact with uh, Facebook. If you guys want the stickers, if you want the pen, uh, once again, the stickers are free, but the pen is going to cost you $7. So remember that, guys. And, guys, hit that damn subscribe button. And we'll, we'll see you all next time. And we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, there you go, Tom. <laughs>